So let me take you along on this magical journey as we venture into unknown territory. Do I believe in hell? Yes. Hell is like my paradise. There's an inner god and then there is Satan. No, nobody cursed me. My magic protects me, dude. And I didn't threaten anybody with anything. I'm within my legal rights as an autistic to be like... And then I'll usually pull out the wand I'm carrying on me that I made. Oh, you made this? That's so cool. And even if it doesn't go anywhere, people are like, that dude's not afraid to be himself. And that's why I get chicks, dude. Having armpit hair doesn't define you as a man. You're not the leader of my cult, I am, so I want to ban you from chat. One day I'm gonna meet a really hot goth chick who just loves the smell of myself, and it's gonna, it's gonna happen. You just wait and see. Of age, cisgendered, non-relative, and it's gonna be consensual, and she'll be alive and conscious. One day I will teach on YouTube, but for now, wait till my following gets super, super big, and then I will start to teach. Two, but your boy King Cobra got a pizza. This is a medium, hand tossed, garlic parmesan white sauce, extra bacon, extra onions, jalapenos, cheddar cheese, buffalo sauce. Yes, please. You got a long wrist on there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This is a uh, medium. Hand toss pizza from Domino's. What do they call it? The Dominator because it's got everything on it? Yeah, pretty much. Whoa. Too safe. I'm going to go and smear that garlic butter on top. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got it, but uh, you got it, two of them, huh? Uh-huh. You know, for the top. Garlic's good for your food right now. Not like garlic. Mm-hmm. That like is. like everything but the kitchen sink on there. <laughs> it's <laughs> there much. somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. He's a little sister go on and stick with it, you know. Yes. So I'm gonna grab me a slice of this and see how I do. Mm -hmm, okay. I'll see how well you do. <laughs> how it do, yeah. How hot hot is, you know. That is what's up, Domino's. Yeah. Just right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. Mm-hmm. Did you want a slice? No, I'm not ready yet. Okay. But thank you, Bobby. Mm-hmm. I'm going to run down and get that tarp and I'll be right back. Sounds good, Ray. And then I'll have a piece. All right. Um, then after we do this, then we'll smoke a bowl or a little bit of that uh, um, dabs. No, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to give a shout out to my patroners on a public video and then give them a, a private guitar video later. Check out this sweet lighter that I got from one of the fangirls. Pretty sweet Cobra Zippo. Hell yeah, love from Zuzu. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I also got a sweet brand new game for the PlayStation 3. Call of Duty, baby. So cheers to the fan who sent me $35, bud. Sorry, it's taking me a while. But like... A couple days of just drinking, hanging out with friends, and like detoxing my mind from this bullshit. This is right up my alley for as far as rants go, man. Because what's more important to me than getting laid, what's more important is fixing gender issues. That being said, I'm not the same person that, that I was when I dated Stephanie. I've matured and I've grown up, grown up a bit. But apparently she hasn't, because you know... She won't stop talking about me. <laughs> I still crave of age women who are cisgender and, you know, who are not related and all that, and who are alive and all that good shit. I got those wands out, all four that were ordered. They all have signed certificates. I just finished, re I just finished recording two songs from my new album, Satan's Bell and Misery Loves Company. Which, when I redid it, it sounds, like, way more powerful and more emotional than, like, 
the last version I attempted. But now that women are starting to realize their full potential and do more, men are still stuck in this 1950s style of you got to be able to work on the car and build a house, otherwise you ain't a real man kind of thing. You're somehow seen as less of a man because you can't fix the sink or fix the house or work on the car. The stereotype that men are supposed to be handy with their hands is no more sexist than, you know, telling women, hell, hey, you belong in the, in the kitchen. But speaking of which, I saw an ad on YouTube, one of those, uh, like, mini, mini, mini ovens you plug into the wall on your countertop. They called it the Susan. Meet Suvi. And I was triggered by it. I'm like, it's a kitchen device with the female's name. That is so implying sexism. That should have me triggered, dude. I was like, you couldn't have called it the, the mini stove 2000. No, that sounded too cliche. Like, I feel like that would have been called sexist no matter what you named it. If you would have called it the Chad Cooker 2000, they would have been like, you're using a men's name. You support the patriarchy, you sexist. I think why today's kids can't handle social media bullying as well as I can is because they got no escape for it, dude. Like, when I was growing up, I grew up with the internet becoming a thing. I'm a 90s baby, through and through. And I witnessed the birth of the internet. I can still remember watching Cradle of Filth, Her Ghost in the Fog, on Google Videos. Back when Google Videos was a thing. I'm looking up ghost videos and paranormal shit on, on Google Video. And then they got a suggestion. Cradle of Filth, her ghost in the fog. And I'm like, ooh, what's this? I've been a fan since. I love tactical soap, man. Every time I go to the, like, out in public, adult women will be like, that dude smells good. Yeah. I mean, look at me. I'm autistic. I got them big bug eyes, and I'm going bald. Dude, I need all the help I can get in that department. Man, I'll tell you what. Ugh. When your boy Cobra's got that reputation around town for smelling really good and being a badass rock star YouTuber, shoot. There is a huge, a cue and a huge difference between being a feminist and a feminazi. A feminazi will hate men and be completely sexist towards men, and abuse her power as a female to get what she wants in life. Whereas a feminist will be like, she acknowledges that women should have rights, but she also acknowledges that men have it hard too. This is why I consider myself, I know you're all of you are going to cringe at this, male feminist. While I acknowledge that women deserve equality just as much as men, I gotta argue my side of the argument too, and that's just it. So I can respect Joe Biden's decision to take us out of Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran, but leaving behind all those weapons, like... <laughs> Whoopsie-daisy! Uh, nearly 16,000 pounds out in child maintenance for the three children. So I couldn't work it. 16,000 pounds for three child support payments. I'm not sure what that is in American, but... It's in the thousand mark, so it's going to be a little... Ah, I've been dealing with an ear infection and a slight head cold, but I'm getting over it. I got me some Z Quill with warming berry. Shout out to uh, the company who makes that. That shit is awesome. Anyways, I got some Domino's gift cards for Christmas, and... Uh, I'm definitely spending them. Yeah, buddy. We got a medium hand-tossed pizza with garlic, white parmesan sauce, extra bacon, extra onions. Basically, all the cheeses Domino's offers for the create-your-own, plus the spinach, the extra bacon, the extra onions, on that hand-tossed crust with the garlic, white parmesan sauce, and two cups of garlic butter. Oh, it's going to be dank. Oh, sweet baby Lucifer. That looked good. Oh, yeah, that's good. 
Mountain Dew beer butter ribs, motherfucker. Oh, yes. Take our fork. I stab you with my fork. I stab you with my fork. So for starters, we're going to take our Country Crock original. We want to plop some of that buttery goodness into our bowl. Now, while that butter melts for our barbecue sauce, we're going to take some seasoning for our ribs. We got our honey chipotle and our rust county meats. Now that our butter is uh, melted, yes, we're gonna add again some more of our seasoned goodness, a sprinkle of that rust county, a sprinkle of that honey chipotle barbecue, and then we're gonna add a pinch of salt. To thicken it up, we're gonna add one can of Mountain Dew. Pour a little bit of that in there. And then we're gonna add some Bud Light. And then we're gonna mix it with our honey, honey sauce right here from Kraft. All that melted butter, that salt, the barbecue sauce, the beer, the Mountain Dew. That's gonna be good. And we're making a mess all over the counter. Hold up. Oop, wipe that up. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. That combination, I'm liking that. Sweet, savory. All that buttery beer goodness with the Mountain Dew. Go oh, and just pour it all over our ribs. Just like that. I'm going to dump the excess sauce into the sink. Oh, yes. YouTube, look at it. Beautiful. Those are about to go in the oven. We've got our knife for separating the ribs later. Then they're going to throw on a Bud Light. Now we got a little drink while we wait. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, shit. Drop the phone. Whoops. All right. Let's put them in the oven. Right there on the second rack. What up? Part two. Look at those ribs. Yes. Drink combo it up. So how good are these barbecue ribs that I made? Let's find out. Look at the colorization. Very nice. YouTube. Today I'm going to check out the response video King Cobra JFS. Day. Oh, we're only a minute in the video and he's already used a deprecating name against me. Nice. Nice. You realize your shitty ex is more popular than you on YouTube. For being an internet lol cow. YouTube, it's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. Uh, doing a uh, drink review. That's sick. Gotta stay hydrated so I can get over my ear infection. It's getting a thousand times better. Right now I'm working on my, working on my album. As far as certain people talking shit about me, I don't care. Certain people need to get over me. I got a wand for sale on Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. So if you want that wand, I get it now. So I bought a uh, samurai sword from BudKnives.com. This is a birthday gift, and I'm not going to say who it's for because that's none of your business i uh i got a sword for a uh, birthday gift and that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna make sure it looks good before i hand it off oh yes now i got this from budkknives.com 
I'm gonna plug their website right quick. Yes. So this is a uh, this is a return form. <laughs> We're not gonna need that. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, I appreciate you all tuning in to watch the live video. I got it figured out. Safari does not. Safari does not uh, support my camera for some odd reason. It is what it is. And just like that, I want to pull it out, take a look at it. Oh, 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 YouTube. Oh, check that out, YouTube. That is fucking sweet. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like it, dude. It's got a nice weight to it. Watch out. How sharp is it? Oh, yeah. It's got an edge on it. So uh, I got uh, two songs done. As the band began with its horny tone, Satan's call will be heard throughout the land. <laughs> Satan's. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with the new Garage Band. It picked up on some like weird static y shit. So, yeah, I. I don't know how to eliminate that personally. Maybe uh, Alex Ford can clean it up when I send him the, the songs. Uh, quite the opposite. Why would he be jealous of her? Because, one, I get to do what I want for a job. While she works a crappy fast food job, I get to make wands for a living and enjoy doing what I do. It doesn't matter who cheated first, okay? People need to get the fuck over it. Like, Stephanie needs to grow the fuck up and get over it. That relationship was ages ago. You think she would have moved on by now? She has a car. She has a job. She has a boyfriend. And yet, she still can't get over me, dude. Hey, Cobra, can you turn off slow mode? I don't know. Could you put $40 in my PayPal account? <laughs> I'm not going to turn off slow mode unless you put $40 in my PayPal account. How is the e-begging when I'm offering a, an exchange and service? I, I have a thought. Why don't you get a life? Yeah. All e-begging comments will be banned. So, yes, I guess Chrome supports my camera when I go live. Uh, you know, that's cool. I don't know why Safari doesn't. It doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Thank you. Those ribs turned out delicious. It was so good I was eating the cartilage off the uh, ends of the bones on those ribs. That's where the crunchiness came from. You know, Stephanie almost fucked Damien and Megan's son. And that's practically like her nephew. Dude, no judgment. I'm just saying. I had chicks hitting on me even before I started wearing the soap. And now, now that I wear it, dude, your boy King Cobra has that reputation around town for smelling good. No, but she's jealous of my YouTube fame. Otherwise, she wouldn't try to chase my clout. And Stephanie's not the only one who's jealous of my YouTube fame. All of my trolls are fucking jealous of me. Otherwise, they wouldn't try to hard, so hard to fuck with me, you know? It's sad. Oh, Cobra, I'm going to steal your wands. I'm going to resell them. You won't get none of the money. Yeah, but in order to steal my wands, you'd have to buy them first. So technically, I still get money. Yeah, keep it up, assholes. Because guess what? One day, I'm going to get laid by the hottest of age goth chick that's biologically female. And it's going to be consensual and she'll be alive. And on top of that, y'all are going to be jealous as fuck because I ain't going to say shit about it. Because quite frankly, that's none of your business. A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. Yeah, but here's the thing of it, King Cobra NFT. You wouldn't have that if it wasn't for me. You're stealing my ideas just like Stephanie is. You wouldn't have shit if it wasn't for me. So I don't give a fuck how much money you make. 
Now, if I get some money, then yeah, so I might get a beer. But right now, I'm just drinking some Mountain Dew, chilling out. Yeah, NFT wands are a waste of money at King Cobra NFT. And why I say that? Because it's not as good as the real thing, people. See that? What's that? Is that Cobra's wand that he made for himself? Oh. NFTs are like digital pictures, basically. NFTs, unless you're buying it from Ozzy Osbourne, NFTs are a waste of money. Exactly. NFT wands can't cast actual spells. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I'm no. Just, I'm just messing yeah. Messing yeah. with you. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Lantern? How's that going? Good. How's it going, Dean? Good. Yeah, what's up? That's it. Yeah, the trolls are totally manipulating something to create drama and to create content for their sad lives. It's pathetic. Yeah, I heard about it. But we're not here to talk about that. Yeah, yep, exactly. And I was just live with Richie Wright. Be sure to check that out. Subscribe to his channel. That's what the fuck is up. So people, and I, I don't like bringing up Stephanie, but the trolls are manipulating Stephanie to start drama between us on YouTube because they're sad, miserable fucks. I'm not going to bother watching her stupid video or responding to it because that's exactly what the trolls want. The trolls say they rule my life, but they created an entire subreddit dedicated to me. They spend every day texting me, talking about me, but they totally hate me, right? They got that ass backwards, homie. I rule the trolls' lives. I don't give a shit what Stephanie does, to be honest, but at the same time, Stephanie, honey, don't let the trolls bullshit you like that. You're smarter than that, honey. The only way for the trolls to win is to leave King Cobra JFS alone and to quit harassing him. That's the only way the trolls are going to win, dude. And they better not quit harassing me. They don't got the balls to do it. Mr. Green is chilling out in Colorado, where he lives. My right hand, I punched my desk. <laughs> No, I'm not telling you who this sword's for. Yeah, I ended up paying like a little bit over $200 to ship it. Totally worth it. And yes, I am going to get Darth Lenny a sword eventually because I, I want to get him one. Hope you all are having an awesome uh, Thursday night. It's the weekend. I'll probably grab like maybe one or two more beers and then I'm good. And you don't have to donate to the PayPal, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. It goes towards cooking videos, beer, vodka, cigarettes. Speaking of vodka, shout out to Betty Wright. Rest in peace. You know, a bunch of trolls started spamming Richie Wright's live stream. Just because I was there and I hang out with Richie and Wright and, and the gang, you know. Like, I like going on Richie Wright's stream, but I don't want to, like, take it over. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. You know, because, like, when I'm on someone else's channel, it's about them and what they're doing. I'm just a guest, regardless of how famous I may be. Now, I apologize for breaking Campbell's phone, but, you know, after all that I've done for him, he wanted to call me a shitty friend. And I overreacted, and I'm like, oh, you want to see a shitty friend, motherfucker? Okay. <laughs> I own up to that. Legitimately, Alex Campbell broke his baby mama's TV. So, like, everyone wants to jump down my throat. When are you going to replace Alex's phone? I don't know. When the fuck is Alex going to replace his baby mama's TV? Just saying. Alex at one point got really drunk, started hating on me, and he wasn't even subtle about it. I'm like, dude, I'm flattered, but I don't swing that way. I don't care if that's how you are, just, you know what I'm saying? Holy crap, 90 likes. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And gals, don't want to be gender inclusive now. 
beneath this uh, gothic, tough, bad boy exterior, I, I got a heart of gold. And sometimes I wear my emotions on my, my heart on my sleeves. Ha! My hairline forms an inverted cross. Look at that. Upside down cross. Right there. Ha ha ha! Satanic as fuck. Like a river flows, shoulder to the sea. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Thank you very much. Goes away in the end. And you could have it all. My empire of dirt. You got my head spinning. No kidding. I can't pin you down. Lord, on a beautiful mind. I'm your magical mystery ride. And I'm so dizzy. No one hit me, but I'll be all right. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. Dude, I remember being a fucking a little kid, dude. Growing up, every chick I went to school with fucking back in the day was obsessed with the Backstreet Boys. And so I tried copying their fucking dance moves that I'd see on the music videos to impress the chicks. Totally worked. Yeah. You know, Cobra knows how to be sexy when he needs to be, or scratch that. It's not a need, it's a want. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way. Like, why the fuck does Cobra keep doing barbecue ribs on his YouTube channel? I'm like, because where I go to get it, it's cheap and it tastes good. I'm going to make this the last vocal cover. For the song, for the video. It's been two hours. You don't want to keep singing, but I don't want to tire my voice out. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting over an ear infection and a slight head cold. I've been taking Z Quill to uh, fucking deal with the cold. And like, I took, I'll take like two caps before going to bed, even though the daily dose. Says one every 24 hours, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm King Cobra. Fuck you. I want to take two capfuls before going to bed. And then I'll just crawl into bed with my wand and lay down in my pajamas and get underneath the covers and wait. I start feeling a calming sensation. I start feeling sleepy. And then I'm out like a light. And I wake up like, whoa, holy shit, that was a good sleep. But it's worth every penny. Okay, if you got a cold or a flu, don't be cheap. Okay, get, get the NyQuil, DayQuil, Quill products. Because the cheaper genetic shit has less of the thing that makes you sleepy. I make a lot of friends around town that I don't really talk about. You know what I'm saying? Just because... I've learned on YouTube a long time ago that keeping some secrets on you from YouTube is good. Because the more famous you become, the more you get harassed. Because people are too fucking lazy to put in the effort to put in the effort to make themselves famous and put their name out there. That shit takes work, dude. I've been making YouTube videos for like the last ten plus years. And now people, it's like, oh, King Cobra, got the King Cobra, yeah, I've heard of him. He's a badass YouTuber, wand maker, musician, civil rights activist, goth hippie, metalhead, you know, it's like a touch of cowboy. I prayed to Lucifer. 
to give me a better apartment to where I can continue my magical studies and continue preaching the Dark Lord's name. And then Lucifer gave me this bitch in apartment. So I'm like, there you go. I like the location. It's perfect. I get a beautiful view of Casper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not to mention my landlord's actually a fan of my videos. Last time I turned in my rent check, my landlord was like, I can't believe I rent to the legendary King Cobra JFS. And I'm like, yeah, buddy. This is the last of my ribs. Hmm. The last night. Hmm. Munching out on them all day. You can help with animal population control by occasionally eating an animal. I can't see the chat because as soon as I try to, I turn it on from top chat to live chat, and it's just not appearing on my screen. So I'm sure there are tons of people commenting like, fuck you, Cobra, your videos suck, even though I have no life. And I'm sure there are even more fans commenting, get it, Cobra, yeah! I'm a man of my fucking word. It starts getting closer to Darth Looney's birthday. I want to get him a sword from Bud K. He can pick whichever one he wants, and I'll buy it for him. Even if I'm going to make a couple extra wands, you know? Because Darth Looney is a solid dude. You ever eat spicy food to the point where it's like you can't breathe and like you're, <sighs> you're sweating like a motherfucking dog. And then it cools off just for a bit so you take another bite and then that feeling goes from that to <sighs> and then you start hallucinating. Everything around you starts melting. You're like, what? Pepper junkie hallucinations are real. I've experienced it only once. And that was with the spicy burger challenge I did with Homeboy Scotty, who's still kicking and doing his thing. Yeah. I got one beer left after these two, and I want to save that for the morning. But this is the iguana sauce I was talking about. Okay, so we're going to pour a cap full of this hot sauce and we're just going to do it on camera. We got the cap full. <coughs> Holy shit. Holy shit ball that burns. Ah. Ah, why did I do that? Ah. Do my eyes and my sinuses. Take some raw flour, just a little scoop, a tiny, tiny scoop. Dump it in there with some water and mix it up. Easy enough to make. Did you got a cold or a flu and you're stuffed up? Hot sauce and cold medication, man. Holy shit. Okay, this is the stuff I was mentioning earlier. It's got the warming berry. Last couple of days of being sick and stuffed up with a head cold and ear pressure. This stuff is kicking ass, dude. It says take one cap full every 24 hours. But I'm a freak of nature to some degree. So I'll take like two because I can.
Oh, wait. It cooled off after I consumed the drink combo and the Z Quill. So yeah, alcohol and the Z Quill probably not the smartest combination, but I'll be fine. I got a two pack, so it came with two bottles when I got it off a of DoorDash. Not a sponsor. I love to go to the smoking side, but them's the rules. And like I said earlier, I fought the smoking indoors thing at my last place, and it didn't work out so good. Even though my last landlord was very tolerant and very patient with me, the trolls reported a bunch of false customer complaints at my last place and got me kicked out. It's it's fucking stupid, but what do you do? Yeah, shout out to uh, Alex Campbell. He's the one that gave me this pipe. The mouthpiece broke, so I fixtured it to the best of my ability. These are the only two tobacco pipes I have in my collection. Ugh, I saw a Savinelli on the internet that was black and green. I posted it to my Facebook, and I'm like, dude, if I had the money to buy that, shoot, that billiard, yes. A Bic, a pipe tool, a pipe, and some tobacco. And people get so anal about how to light your pipe. Like, you always should use wooden matches or hemp wick. And I'm like... Dude, if you get your pipe lit and you're on your way to enjoying some good pipe tobacco, who the fuck cares? It's all a matter about personal preference. These fucking pipe snobs who are like, you're not a real pipe smoker unless you use expensive wooden matches. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Now that samurai sword I showed off on my YouTube is a birthday present for a friend of mine. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say who it's for. There's a lot of shit I don't discuss on YouTube because it's just how I roll. But I will say this. They're going to have a dickens of a time unwrapping it. <laughs> like I said, I learned that this technique from my buddy Phil. And my buddy Phil was would wrap his presents up in like multiple layers. So it was a bitch and a half to open for the person who it was for. I'm like, why do you do that? And he's like, because it's fun to watch. And I'm like, and then I kind of stole that. I stole that idea. And I'm like, yeah. And if you said this life ain't good enough, I would give my world to lift you up. I could change my life to better suit your mood. Cause you're so smooth And it's just like the ocean Under the moon It's the same as the emotion That I get from you You got the kind of love And I can be so smooth That give me your heart Make it real Or else forget about it Damn 469 likes 68 that's alright you got 711 people watching. That's what's up. I got some money from uh, the wands sales. So before I get any more alcohol, getting those wands shipped out to the customers comes first. Well, thanks, man. Got $140.84 in my PayPal. Thank you for donating to the PayPal, $140.84. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting more alcohol tomorrow after I get the wands in the mail. Well, uh, you want to call me an alcoholic? Go right ahead. At the end of the day, 
you're not the one making a hundred plus dollars just by entertaining the fans. Dude, I'm definitely feeling a little bit sleepy and tired. <laughs> Giving you your Cobra fix for the Thursday, Friday weekend. Bitchin'. My closing remarks. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more. Catch you later. Did you hear about the Irish vampire? His name was Count Dublin. I thought of that when I was in bed this morning, just waking up. And I'm like, that's funny shit. Waiting for that wand money to transfer. Big thanks to the homies and the fans for uh, donating to the PayPal. I ordered a uh, rather expensive tobacco pipe. I also picked up some weekend fun. Look at that. Yes. Make this shit last a little bit longer than last night's, uh, than the uh, 12 pack. Now I got some money in my account, so I'm going to take a cab down to the post office. And then I'm going to uh, get those wands in the mail. They were ordered off of Etsy. Even if I take all the money out of my account uh, today. It'll be replaced over the weekend. So, yeah, I own up to the fact that I broke Alex's phone because he was being an asshole. So I had to be a bigger asshole to prove a point. And all it did was cost us our friendship. So, nah. Personally, I don't think I owe Alex shit because I've already been such a good friend to him. But, like I said, if I win the lottery, I'll buy him a new phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then when I found out that Alex Campbell smashed his baby mama's TV after throwing a huge autistic fit, like, I wanted to talk about that. But anyways, you know, then I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, no, okay, you get pissed off when, when I break your phone, so you turn around and you break your baby mama's TV. You know what I'm saying? Nah, dude. You know, and I ask myself, what would Ozzy Osbourne do? He would laugh at my trolls. He's like, dude. I got the multi-platinum records. These fuckers don't have shit. You know, for as long as I've been doing YouTube, I'm used to it by now. When I first started making YouTube videos, I had a horrible time dealing with my trolls. But I've, I've learned to uh, get better with it, yeah? The last one I made for myself, it's I snapped it because I scuffed it. And I didn't like that. But this one, I, I, I like. I try not to scuff it. Gucci. Even if you end up blocking the assholes who talk shit. At the end of the day, if you're a YouTuber, it's all about engaging with your audience. Regardless if you're a celebrity or not. It's, it's you know what I'm saying? Like just your average everyday YouTuber or like, okay, now is a YouTube celebrity. There's like three stages. Your basic YouTuber, you got maybe like 100 subscribers. You know, there it is. YouTube celebrity, you got well over 20,000 subscribers. You're starting to get there. And then you have your YouTube influencer, which those are the peeps who got like millions of subscribers. So there's like three levels to it, man. I get sick and tired of Christians bashing people who practice magic and make wands. Yet, in the past, I've gone on camera and said some very derogatory things about certain groups of people. And it's just like, I don't even mean it. It's just, you know, I, I get angry and I say shit that I don't mean. We all do that crap. And that's the only way to control the trolls. You can't control what the trolls do. All you can do is control how they react. Case in point, when that asshole at Frosty's started fucking cussing at me and telling me to get the fuck out, I'm like, one, you don't own the bar. Yeah, that's one of their, uh, that dude that yelled at me at Frosty's. That dude's one of their regular cooks during the daytime, and then he spends his money getting drunk at the same bar he works at. 
I'm ignoring the trolls. The bartender's ignoring the trolls. The only person that had a problem with it was the dude drinking. Tell me to get the fuck out of there. I'm like, fucking make me, asshole. And I flashed the pocket knife because I have the right to defend myself as an autistic. I did not threaten anyone. Okay. I did not. If that dude would have taken a swing at me, I would have punched him and knocked his ass out. And if I would have been cornered and my life was in danger, that would have been the only time that uh, said knife would have come out. So I'm kind of like, you know what? If Frosty's left me back, that's cool. If not, it's no skin off my shoes. I don't want to be involved in drama. It's not helpful. It seemed as though he thought that I was doing all of this to embarrass him, which you guys obviously know is not the case, and I've already stated that. And I also want to say here, too, that... Okay, if you think to yourself, hey, maybe like five, ten years down the road, this might be embarrassing, then maybe you shouldn't post it on social media. Just a thought, YouTube. So, like, if people didn't know that Clint Saunders was my father, for example, they'd be like, what's the deal with all these Clint Saunders accounts trolling King Cobra? And then my backstory would be like, well, that's my dad. I love him very dearly. He loves me like a son because, he, you know, he's my father, you know, and freaking, yeah. You know, people impersonate my dad on YouTube. Just to, just for a reaction. Yeah, like if you don't want certain things being talked about, then maybe you shouldn't talk about them on the internet. It's kind of unfair that people will bring up your past just to fuck with you on the internet. But that's the internet for you, dude. You know, that's why, that's why you got to be careful what you post on the internet. Because it can come back to bite you. YouTube. Because that's just how it is. And if people want to talk shit on me because I get SSDI for my Asperger's. Okay, you know what? First of all, fuck you. I don't just sit on my ass and do nothing. I actually attempt to make money for myself, whether it be through... Merchandise, donations from my fans, or my wands, or my tactical soaps. So I got four different ways to make money. You know, and it's not quite enough to like pay for everything, but it's enough to help, you know. And that's this is my problem. People want to give me shit like, oh, I'm going to get your SSDI taken away because you make money. Uh, that's exactly what they want, you fucking retard. They don't want someone just sitting on their ass collecting it if you're out there trying to make a decent living. And for the record, you've seen it. My wands sell out like hotcakes. I listed two wands the other day, and they're already sold within like one day. $100 right there. After I get the wand in the mail... The rest is profit. Now, if I won the lottery, I would report it to the uh, administration that delivers my SSDI, and I'd be responsible about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm aware of the fact that my ex is not being paid by my trolls. I'm not stupid, you know. But my trolls were trying to manipulate and start drama between me and one of my exes. And it's really dumb. And of course I'm not going to pay Stephanie $3,400 to harass me on the internet. That's dumb. My trolls are pathetic. Other than my trolls trying to manipulate Stephanie and me into having drama and fights on YouTube just for sick views, fuck that shit, fuck the drama, or learn how to properly make ribs. You want to cook them three-fourths of the way done before you add the sauce? I'll be getting the wands in the mail on Monday. That didn't go according to plan. What kind of peanut spies on you while you're in the shower? A pecan.
Good afternoon, YouTube. Just got out of bed. How you cool cobras doing? It's your boy King Cobra. And last night I ordered some craves. I ordered some other cheese curds, which were delicious. I ordered a sweet tea and a 10 piece chicken strip. This is from last night's order, so hold on a second. Mm. Mmm. Even though it's leftovers from last night, it's still pretty tasty. Mmm. So apparently pecans are not peanuts. Who cares? It was a joke. Like, Jesus Christ. No, I do not. Chicken McNuggets, you're going to get banned for being stupid. My trolls are not paying Stephanie any fucking money to start shit with me. Y'all are fucking jealous of my YouTube fame. You're bored with your sad fucking lives. Mm, not really. Okay, I see it. Never mind. Hold on a second. <sighs> I can't control when that shit happens. One second. I'm not crying about shit. And King Cobra NFT, you're stupid. You're getting banned. I make the best ones in town. That's why they sell out, dude. You got the real Clint Saunders. You're my see. You know what? That right there. You're a fucking sad loser, dude. Let's impersonate Josh's dad and say some fucked up shit on YouTube just to get a reaction. And all I did was get him blocked. Let's be real. No, it's not. There's no... Oh, my God. You guys are stupid. My dad is not doing that. He simply enjoys making wands with me because it's a father-son activity that we can do together without fighting. I can ban trolls for days, dude. Yeah, a uh, circle of protection for homeless people. Prospectors of age wife. May she be healed fast from the COVID. So mote it be. Yes, I still smoke tobacco, chicken tendas. Headbang right now. Eh. Still headbangs. It's long enough to headbang. <laughs> uh, I don't really have any alcohol to do a drink combo with. But. If you want to donate to my PayPal for some booze, I'll get some. I'm not begging anyone for anything, King Cobra NFT. You need to get a fucking life. How is it begging if I say you don't have to, but it's greatly appreciated? That's not begging. That's just a business exchange. Shenards says, good question. Would you rather have your clock tower dream house mansion or solve gender relations forever? I would choose um the gender relations, actually. It doesn't matter who I got the katana for. It really doesn't matter. They liked it, so that's all that matters. Uh, that comment right there just got you banned for being stupid. If you don't know who Ozzy Osbourne is, then you can fuck off. Like, legitimately. I'm cool with juggalos and juggalettes. I'm down with the clowns. Talking shit on Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Darkness will get you banned from my channel. Bye bye no, I honestly don't know if I'm improving social issues. I just offer my commentary on them and my two cents and my perspective. So, yeah, I'll be getting the wands in the mail tomorrow. Today did not work out so well for the ride situation. But tomorrow for sure. Also, rest in peace, Bob Saget. It is what it is. Which does suck, because I grew up watching Full House. I'm a 90s baby, so yeah, I grew up watching Full House. Uncle Jesse was my favorite character, but...
Yeah, that still sucks because, you know. I remember this one episode of Full House where Bob Saget and his brother-in-law and his brother are playing poker with this dude. And the dude's just chain-smoking cigarettes left and right. And, you know, Bob Saget's character, Danny Tanner, all squeaky clean, just like not having it, but trying to play it cool. And then he gets done smoking all his cigarettes, and he's like, well, thank God those are done. <laughs> then the dude busts out a bunch and starts smoking, like, chain-smoking cigars. And by the time they get done playing poker, the dude turns to uh, Bob Saget, and he says, hey, man, can you get me a, a pouch of pipe tobacco? And uh, Bob Saget's character says, you know, I've been pretty cool throughout this whole entire shindig. You, sir, are killing yourself and everyone else with your disgusting habits. <laughs> Well, if you'd like to donate to the PayPal, it's greatly appreciated. I'd get a case of beer that way. Yeah, shout out to Big Old Bean 13. Happy birthday. Now, I know drink compost tonight, just hanging out, having a Mountain Dew, watching one of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to. And like, they were constantly, ref like, every other other time that they would refer to women as bitches and it just i don't know dude it rubbed me the wrong way sorry to hear about that gape horn a circle of protection for your gout hopefully it gets better is the line bitches be snitches acceptable yeah because snitches suck oh yeah well that's most definitely what's uh 28 dollars and 72 cents have been sent to my PayPal. Well, I appreciate that. Damn. All the liquor stores are closed. All of your anti Ozzy Osbourne comments are going to get you banned from my channel. Uh, Gay Porn says, at King Cobra JFS, any advice for my date this weekend? Yeah, man. Dress sharp. Be confident, casual, cool. You know, don't stare at their body. Stare at their face and their lips. Yes, I'm aware of the fact that I'm famous on TikTok. Someone stole my videos and made short little TikTok videos of them, and they are blowing up. So there you go. I don't even have to create multiple accounts. I got people doing my dirty work for me. People are like... How do you feel about people stealing your videos on TikTok? And I'm like, I don't care. It's it's free exposure, man. <laughs> like, okay, if she, like, scratches your car with her keys, smashes your cell phone, and then doesn't give you sex for, like, four weeks, all because you didn't notice her hair. Eh, that's a bitch move. Because I don't give a shit about Warlord's haircut museum. Like, fuck off. Ugh. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. I was chilling. So, yesterday, last night, some fans donated some money to the PayPal. Appreciate it. So, I got some of this. So I hope y'all are having a bitchin' Tuesday morning. I had some beer dropped off at the uh, apartment. Meet Suvi, the magical all-in-one countertop kitchen robot. Okay, this right here, this ad had me triggered. Meet Susie, the new kitchen appliance. The sexist undertones in this, this implying that women belong in the kitchen so you name the kitchen device a female name it's just like nah dude Oof. grab a quick shower before i go down to the post office because i love that tactical soap best way to say this Enjoy the time you have left with other celebrities that you like and just continue to support them. You know? Betty White and Bob Saget. And uh, 
I grew up watching the Golden Girls and Full House. Just know that Bob Saget is on the other side with Betty White and Rodney Dangerfield laughing it up. Like, look, if you want to steal my content and upload it to TikTok because the whole King Cobra fad is taken off, cool. You're helping me get more exposure. But if you start making money off of TikTok videos, you know what I'm saying? The least you could do is like split it with me, you know? Take that TikTok money and dump it into my PayPal. Because if you don't, you know, then we're going to have problems. That's all I'm saying. If those videos of me on TikTok really start taking off and the accounts who are associated with, you know, spreading the good word of Cobra and that kind of thing, if you don't share the money with me that you potentially may make off of TikTok, I will be hiring lawyers. You either share the money you make off of TikTok 50-50 or I send you a cease and desist and I sue your ass for fucking, what's it called? Uh, impersonation? I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of like legal shit being as I'm autistic, they could fucking, yeah. I'll drink like six, five to six, and then save the other half of my 12 pack for later. When I was a kid, I visited San Francisco with uh, my family. I crossed the Golden Gate Bridge once. No, oh, dude, I remember that from my childhood. We, we went to the seafood restaurant in San Francisco. I forget which one it was. But they had these like little octopus you could eat. You could order it off the menu. And I can remember eating these tiny little octopus. I mean, like in some way I can kind of relate. I got bullied and teased and harassed in high school. And I hated it. But now I got chicks who rejected me in high school going, I wish I wouldn't have rejected Saunders. And then I got dudes in high school who made fun of me who were going, wait, he became a famous YouTuber? God damn it. That's what kills me about the whole thing. You're getting bullied in high school. You're getting teased and bullied and picked on and harassed. All these fucking stuck-up skanks who are like, Ew, you're a loser. You're creepy. You're weird. <laughs> Fuck them. I am living proof of that myself. When I literally heard one of the hottest chicks I've had a crush on in high school say, Oh, that's Saunders. I wish I wouldn't have reject him. I was just like, ha. <sighs> Oh, come on. You know, I'm tired of people judging other people for their decisions for the most part. Like, as long as you ain't a sicko, who gives a shit? Speaking of which, yes, I will be getting more wands up on Etsy. Got to get the two right there in the mail, which I'll be doing that today or tomorrow. Preferably today. But Cobra Craft handmade wands are worth the wait. Yes. Reattempting a rib recipe. And right now it's it's baking, so yeah. Because unbeknownst to me, if you're gonna make barbecue ribs, you wanna bake them until they're slightly cooked with all the blood cooked out of it before you add the barbecue sauce. But we're here to talk about relationship bullshit. No. <laughs> Look at what Cobra's got. Oh. <laughs> yes. Thank you to the fan who sent the... Uh, the cable for my TV to plug into my PS3. 
I turned it on and it works. It registers the PS3 and everything. So that's good. That's good, good, good. I'll be able to play video games again if I'm in the mood. Mm. I don't have a timer on that oven. As it's from the 70s. So I kind of periodically just open it up and check on it just to make sure it's doing all good. You know what I'm saying? Those don't look too bad. Yeah, those look pretty dank. Got those last two ones are that were ordered on Etsy in the mail. Bitchin. Uh, oh shit balls. I love that 70s show. It's one of my favorite sitcoms. Yeah, the circle. They're all talking about smoking weed because you pass the weed in a circle. Get it? That's why they call it circle. Most people don't get it. They're like, why do they call it the circle? Sometimes I feel like I was born in the wrong decade. Like if I'd been born in like the 70s or the 80s and kind of grown up in that generation. But I'm not complaining. I'm really not. I'm doing all right for myself. Fuck me, I'm going to be like 31 in like two months. Where does the time go? Not complaining, just kind of. March 26th, 2022. Your boy Cobra is going to be 31. Who cares? Like once you turn old enough to drink alcohol, age just kind of becomes a number at that point. Like, oh great, now you're 22. Oh, great, 23, then 24, then 25, then 26, then 27, and then 28, then 29. Then when you turn dirty 30, you're just like, shit, I'm already 30? What the fuck happened to my life? Where did it all go? I'm not mad about Morgan banning me from Frosties. That's honestly her loss, not mine. And it's honestly a crying shame because I've known Morgan since she was a fellow patron at Frosty's. And then she purchased it when it was about to be no longer a thing. Even after the, the Halloween incident, when the only one that had a problem with the issues on the Halloween video at Frosty's was the asshole that cooks for them during the daytime and then spends half his paycheck drinking at the same bar he works at. In fact, one time when I was at Frosty's, they're like, this dude I was talking to was like, just ignore him, man. He spends all day working here, then he drinks it all away at night. Just, just ignore him. And I'm like, all right. Same dude, a couple years, months later, and it's just like, wow, okay. I'm like, it is what it is. If Morgan unbans me from Frosty's, cool. If not, snow skin off my shoes, man. And I didn't threaten anybody with anything. I'm within my legal rights as an autistic to be like, this is what I have for protection. You back me into a corner, that's on you. What up, tubes? Working on some wands for Etsy. Most definitely, what's up? Put a fresh coat of stain on it and let that dry. You don't see me on YouTube next couple of days. I'm making wands and music. That's what I do. Working on my personal carry wand right there. I got three wands for sale. I'm gluing I'm gluing a fire opal to the end of my handle on the wand. Granted the fire opal's not very big, but it's just barely big enough to uh you can you'll be able to see it when I'm done making it. What up YouTube? <sighs> I was working on a wand for my personal collection, and it snapped. It is what it is.
I'm not going to cry over it, dude. Go fuck yourself. As soon as I get some more money, I just go to the hardware store, get some more wanwood. No, nobody cursed me. My magic protects me, dude, from curses and shit. Black magic did not do that, no. Once magic, like magic cannot personally fix your wands. Like once they break in half, you're better off. Just make it a new one. Nothing happened to my hand. That wand you saw in the last video that I was working on, it was already finished, but I tried to put a fire opal in the handle of it, and the wand snapped. So it is what it is. The good news is all the wands I have on Etsy are sold, and they're staying safe, and they'll make it safely to their journey. The bad news is my wand I was working on, yeah, is what it is. And I got plenty of personal wands that I've made over the years that I can carry with me until I make another one. The hole for the fire opal wasn't center, and I snapped the wand. It's kind of dumb, to be honest, looking back on it. Sure thing, Gape. Shout out to Gape Horn and Morgan. Thank you for the support. I see what they got me to do there. That way, That's why I banned his, his account. You haven't triggered me. You're just immature. People need to grow the fuck up. I'm not really sauced, to be honest. I'm actually sober. I did have a a drink earlier. Just one. No, I don't. Do you feel sick when you don't drink for a while? Not really. Do we have any snow in Casper? Nope. And if you hate slow mode, don't know what to tell you. You know, grease my PayPal and I might turn slow mode off. Shit, with dogs like these, I don't fear nobody. Uh, Nikolai, yeah. If you're, wait, no, you shouldn't. Your mother is not going to sleep with you if you get that. That'll help you get chicks that aren't related to you, dude. Like, fuck off. You should get your dad, a, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with that. Fucking. Spreading lies and misinformation about tactical soap will get you banned from my channel. You're not the leader of my cult. I am, so I want to ban you from chat. Not waiting for money to enter my PayPal, just hanging out, reading chat. It's not free speech when you're harassing an autistic. You're abusing your privilege. I'll check PayPal after the stream. I don't want to check it during chat. Because it's it's not about the PayPal money. It's just about hanging out on stream and interacting with the fans. Anyways, I'll catch you later. Got it! Bud Light Lemonade Pack. On oh, effect. Look at that. Cherry. Cranberry. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that here in a second. All four flavors. We got cherry, strawberry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let that. Uh, well, don't just let it play out, dude. Yeah, I'll go there in a second. Yeah, yeah. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. Now, can men just do something nice for women without it having to lead to sex? That's all I'm asking. Just chilling out at a friend's house. And for that matter, I'm tired of being simp-shamed. As a dude, I think all dudes can relate to that. You're doing something nice for a woman just because you want to be nice and show her that not all men are fucking assholes. Took my phone case off. Let it dry out a bit because it got a little wet, but that's all right. Whatever, whatever happened to like just being nice to a, a woman because you're a nice guy? 
Not because you're trying to get laid. Oh, but I forgot. Nice guys finish last. Screw you. I like being nice to women. If I get laid out of the deal, that's a bonus. You know, there are some women out there, not going to name names, but they get sick and tired of every guy trying to get down their pants. So it's nice to have a guy you can just hang out with that's not trying to get down your pants. That's how a lot of women feel. Yeah, no stains, no stains at all. <laughs> no, it kills me, YouTube. I got it, I got it, I got it. Would it kill people to be nice to women just because you want to and not because you want sex? Ordered some, uh, uh, oof. Ordered a Little Caesars pizza a while back. Mmm. You need to create your own bacon with bacon, onions, and beef on a stuffed crust and two cups of garlic butter delicious thank you exhumed for removing that i appreciate it he trolls are obsessed with me and it's pathetic i own the trolls otherwise they wouldn't try so hard to fuck with me i'm not checking the paypal till after the stream because it's not about the paypal money it's about entertaining the fans and sharing my wisdom to be fair, Alex Campbell broke my front door to my apartment before I broke his phone. Then he went and shattered his ex-baby mama's TV. He actually reached out to me because he wants to hang out. And I'm all for making peace and being friends. But I'm not buying him a new cell phone unless I win the lottery. Well, Angie and Walter are like a second mother and father to me, yes. They're family at this point. And I'm very protective of these two. You don't even know. I don't care if Ellen dates me. I'm very protective of her and Walt and Angie because I'm a decent motherfucker. Why can't guys just do something nice for a chick because they want to? Because it's nice. You know what's more important than sex? When you see a girl's face light up because you made her happy. <laughs> In like the last four years that I haven't had sex, I miss cuddling more than I miss the shag nasties. No copyright infringement intended. I'm watching a movie with uh, my buddy Walt here. Yes, ripping those Aussie knuckles for life. Oh, here's Dobby. Hello, Snookums. Oh, goodness. Yes. There's Dobby. You saw her on her fourth birthday when I fed her a... Uh, a Doritos Loco Supreme Taco. It's not about him. You told them, girly. <laughs> but did Dobby get bigger? Man, Dobby's growing like a weed, man. No, Angie and Walt rescued Dobby the Doberman mix from her previous owners. And they were doing some really fucked off shit. Hello? Uh, well, you don't want that? Right, bro? It's happening. <laughs> oh. This room books a year out, man. <sighs> right? On the books for the 11th. It's fighting. The there was a fucking prank oh. phone caller. Just ignore the trolls. They're desperate for attention. So Cobra doesn't even oh. ban their comments and chat. He just ignores it and Grimes. keeps doing his thing. You're welcome. Like clockwork. Go ahead, call again. I'll fucking hang up on your ass. My buddies Angie and Walt, they agree with me, man. They laugh at the trolls. Yeah, right there. This is just like Frosty's all over again. Oops, I hit the hang up number. Ha 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 ha. Fucking assholes. Yeah, they're fucking pathetic, Angie. Just ignore them. Oh my god! <laughs> Just ignore the trolls, Angie. They're fucking pathetic. You know, I can be friends with Ellen's parents without her dating me. She doesn't have to. For the record, Ellen doesn't have to date me, dude. Walk to the bathroom. I can't. 
Hashtag married life. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Oh shit. People will just Hello? say we don't want to watch it. No, you cannot. Put a fucking goddamn call on my phone. This is Angie. Enough. You're gonna get your fucking asses arrested. You keep fucking with me, dude. I've been pretty chill about this whole troll thing and not like pressing charges or anything, but you keep gang stalking me and it's gonna go down. No, Josh, don't you get it. Just hang up and ignore it. Don't even give them the attention. That's what they want. Oh, watch this though. Watch this. I gotta go to the bathroom. Watch. All right, all right, all right. Oh, let me handle this fucking landline goddamn call. All right, all right, all right. I'm I am, Walt. Will you fucking give me a minute? Were you going to help me? I did. I had a landline said, no regrets. Next time you call my fucking landline, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Quit it. Yeah, no shit. No, remove that blanket. Hello? No, you cannot. May I ask who this is? They couldn't take away the other Well, then you can't talk to him. Quit calling my landline, dude. They took I am a fucking senior citizen. My husband is a veteran. Quit fucking harassing us. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. Walt fought for our country in the Vietnam War, and you're gonna fucking harass him and Angie? He says no. Yeah, fuck him, dude. I'll catch you cool cobras later. You're doing this again. Come on. I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. We chilling like rock star villains. I'll catch you cool cobras later. What up, YouTube fam? It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. No, if I end my dry spell with a nice of age lady, you ain't gonna hear shit. Because that's uh, none of your business. I'm gonna keep rocking that tactical soap and keep waiting patiently. And if I'm lucky enough to have it happen, I'm not gonna say shit. And then a uh, circle of protection for the West Coast over in Washington. A uh, volcano erupted underwater. So, yeah. And a shout out to Erica. That's what's up. I'll post the PayPal link if I want to. It's not about the PayPal money. It's about hanging out with the fans. No, it's not true. I'm never going to retire from music. And I'm never going to retire from being goth. Cocaine is illegal, so please do not send that to my P.O. box. Although cocaine should be legal, it's a plant. Buy a beer. <laughs> I don't know, man. I will if I can. Oh, shit. 60 bucks. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is just... Yeah, I think we can make something work. Thank you for the $60, man. I appreciated it. Didn't ask for it. That's why King Cobra rocks, man. But uh, let me jump back on this stream after a second. Appreciate y'all watching. Fuck the trolls telling me to off myself. You can suck Cobra's dick long time. No, my trolls want me to die, and I want a smoking hot of age cisgendered female girlfriend. Some things are just worth the wait, I guess. Yo. Cheers. Thank you for the PayPal money. I'll be doing a uh, barbecue rib recipe again. Shout out to uh, DoorDash. Thank you for uh, for uh, the extra good support on my newest order. The DoorDash lady was with this other chick, and she told me that the steaks I had ordered look absolutely disgusting. So she got me a thicker one that didn't look as gross, that was actually looking good. So hell yeah, good looking, DoorDash. I got some ribs, I got a steak, and I got some eggs. So if I get hungry later, I'll make some hard-boiled eggs. 
it was a horror core type rap beat called Crypt. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> If weed was legal, would you drink less? No. <laughs> no, if weed, be if weed became legal, I'd still smoke tobacco and drink alcohol. Because why would I worry about catching lung cancer or liver cancer when you smoke the cure? Do I ever use the crock pot to cook? I will eventually, yes. One day I might do a, a roast in it. You will PayPal me $7,000 if I give you Sean. You don't got $7,000 and my dummy Sean is not for sale. I don't worship the demons that I work with. I work with them. Have I ever been possessed? No. Darth Lane has just been busy, I reckon. Butts or breasts? I'm more of a, a booby man, but I do appreciate a nice of age. Female and sister in your ass. I will go to hell when I die, and it'll be a party for sure. Yes, yeah, cisgendered, biological, alive, non relative females. And conscious, most definitely, and consenting. Lucky charms are gross. I used to like them when I was a kid, but after a while, I grew tired of it just because the smell, dude. Am I the only one? You take a fresh bowl of Lucky Charms and you pour the milk on it. And it's just the smell, dude. It's like, oh, God, what is that? My uh, dream car. It's a uh, 59 Cadillac Crown Royal Superior end loader hearse with a dual exhausted 428 Shelby Cobra jet engine. And some black shy carpet in place of the coffin rollers and a couple of bench seats in the back. Blonde or brunette? I'm not that picky, man. As long as she's of age, she's hot and she's clean. Now think about this. I'm hanging out with Walt and Angie. The trolls are not going to stop our friendship. I don't care if their daughter dates me. I'm just trying to be a good friend and hang out, you know? And like, I've left Angie and Walt's daughter the fuck alone. Fuck stalking. The only one who's stalking are my trolls. My trolls were stalking me, gang stalking me, and then they want to accuse me of stalking Angie and Walt's of age daughter. Go fuck yourself. I think tomorrow I'll have hard boiled eggs for uh, my food. And I might make some dank barbecue ribs on Monday. Arby's. Yes. We doing the uh, Arby's Spicy Diablo Sandwich Challenge. You gotta finish the entire sandwich before you touch the shake. No more DoorDash until I get the wand in the mail. That's most definitely what's up. Oh, look at that. We're gonna add our horsey sauce. Make it extra spicy. Go ahead and put our horsey sauce on our top bun. Oh, shit. This is your boy, King Cobra, doing the new Arby's Diablo Challenge. <coughs> Dude, that's got, to, that's got a respectable heat on it. That has got a respectable heat on it. Arby's, nice job. Oh, yeah, let's get it. Mm. Mm. Or cleared out. That's a good sandwich, dude. Spicy. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, that's good. Arby's curly fries. Classic. I'd say it's about like a seven or an eight out of ten for me personally. Or a six. It's not that spicy for me because I'm used to eating spicy shit. 
the fiery fish pizza and what have you. <laughs> no, he did not, dude. You're stupid. Troll comments about Martin Luther King Jr. will be deleted from my channel. Martin Luther King Jr. was a civil rights activist and a peace-loving guy. And I think hating somebody just, just because they're a different skin tone than you is incredibly stupid. And fuck the KKK for that matter, fucking Grand Wizard. I'm over here like Avada Kedavra, bitch. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, excuse me. Woo! So shout out to all my awesome black fans out there. Yeah, let's crack open a beer for Martin Luther King. I want to pour it into our Arby's milkshake. Woohoo, 21 and up. Mmm. Ooh, Bud Light and Arby's Shake. Yummy. That's delicious. The wands are tubed up and ready to be shipped out on either Tuesday or Wednesday. And we'll get them out on Monday, but Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I got two beers to celebrate that tomorrow. I bought uh, this uh, sweatshirt that's like super insulated. The dude takes off his shirt and puts the sweatshirt on, and he's fucking cut. And I instantly feel like a fat piece of shit. And I'm like, yeah, but if I were the opposite, you know, if I was one of the gals, I could totally bitch about that if it was gender reversed. And they'd change it. When women are held to a higher beauty standard than men for several centuries, that doesn't mean you get to be a fucking hypocritical cunt about it at the same time. If anything, you think, oh, hey, I sympathize with that fellow human because I also feel body positive issues kind of thing. Hashtag me too. <laughs> If you're with a woman, you shouldn't have Playboy magazines unless they were your first ones. That's different. Ladies, you're not a guy. You wouldn't get it. It's nostalgia. I still have the very first Playboy magazines I purchased when I was of age to buy such delicious material. Yes. yes. They're all the same depth. Balls deep, Scream 5. <laughs> And that is why they will still judge you based upon <laughs> your car. Because if you don't have one, well, you're not a real man, right? Oh, fuck off. That always gets me. Like, if you're a dude and you don't have a car or you can't fix cars, oh, you're not a real man. Maybe you can't afford cars. In fact, I know how to drive. I'm not that bad at it. If I could afford a car, I would get one. I still haven't had my first car yet, but that's <laughs> that's all right. Sometimes cars are more trouble than they're worth. Plus, with the increasing increasing gas prices, anywhere from three to five dollars a gallon, <laughs> and you got a twenty dollar twenty gallon tank, that's like I don't know seventy, eighty, nine, ninety to a hundred bucks just to fill up your gas tank. But if you get 20 miles to the gallon, then that 100 bucks will last you a long time. I don't need alcohol to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Because, uh, yeah, if I get money to get more tomorrow, cool, man. If not, it's whatever, you know. I will celebrate that man's legacy regardless. If a woman said, uh... If I had a girlfriend that said I, I drank too much, she said, it's me or the beer. I'd be like, I've gone through a four-year dry spell, honey. I'm choosing the beer. So if a chick comes up to me at a bar, she's like, what do you do for fun? I'm like, well, I sing and I play guitar and I'm a YouTube celebrity and I make Harry Potter magic wands. And then I'll usually pull out the wand I'm carrying on me that I made. Oh, you made this? That's so cool. And even if it doesn't go anywhere, people are like, that dude's not afraid to be himself. 
And that's why I get chicks, dude. Chicks will notice you, even if you don't get laid. You have so much of the other stuff. <laughs> well, here's the thing of it. They say they want that until push comes to shove. And they're a bigger pussy ass bitch than you are. And it's just like then then you want then you want your man to come out and protect you and uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, YouTube. You're all for your man being submissive and agreeing with everything you fucking say, even if you say two plus two equals five. Say it with me, fellas. Yes, dear. You're always right. I'm wrong. Basically, you need to be the opposite of what you like in a man. Yo, YouTube, it's your boy King Cobra. We're back at it. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now I got chat turned off just for this here video. I appreciate you all tuning in. And also to the fans who donated $20 to my PayPal yesterday. When I was at Buffalo Wild Wings filming the uh, King Cobra JFS, now it's a party documentary. Um, I get down on rapping, you know me. I was busting some flows uh, last night, and uh, I went in to use the bathroom before doing the Buffalo Wild Wings Spiciest Wing Challenge. And there were a couple of black dudes just standing around rapping, and, and I'm waiting patiently to use the stall bathroom just because the urinal was out of order. And I wasn't trying to join in on the rap. I was just sitting there waiting patiently, nodding my head, trying to just chill and do whatever, you know. And I go in to use the bathroom, and I'm minding my own business, taking a piss, and then this tall, skinny black dude starts chucking wet paper towels over the stall at me. And he's like, King Cobra's a racist. And I'm like, does this cracker even know me, dude? At that point, I was just decided to make a joke about it. You're going to throw trash at me? So I made a joke about it. I said, I guess that makes me white trash. I step out of the fucking stall, and this dude's just fucking mean mugging me. Like, what are you going to do about it? I just look at him like, whatever, man. And I washed my hands, and I went and did the challenge. Because in his predicament, he's black. I'm white. The fuck am I gonna say, dude? Nothing, you know. I can't. It's just, you know. But unfortunately, he's gone. Well, now since Martin Luther King Jr. has passed away, God rest his soul. Of course, not for the king, man. Yeah. I got a couple black friends here in Casper. I've, I've had black friends growing up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I'm going to give you a lash for every year that that God-given right was taken away from me. I don't care. You can try and hurt me, but you won't break my spirit. Yeah, tell him, man. My mom told me not to be afraid of evil people like you. And where's your mama now, huh? It's just you and me. So let's have a little fun. His mama is right here. Yeah! Yeah! Mama Bear, get those claws out! Fuck yeah! Dude, yeah! Nobody messes with my boy like that, lady. You are yeah. ashamed of yourself. Yeah! Bitch, call the cops and tell them that there's a lunatic at the park going around whipping people. Yes. Hello, police. Yeah, we have a hate crime at Jimmy's Little Park. 123 Main Street. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you didn't let evil win. Your father would be so proud. That yeah. thing has a father? Shut it. I'm oh, dude. I'm not through with you yet. I'm going to make sure you go to jail for a long time. 
Who do you think they're going to believe? Huh? A criminal or an innocent white lady? Innocent white lady? Is this bitch? Oh my God, dude. Y'all motherfuckers need Satan right now, dude. I get hated on just for being King Cobra JFS. I can't imagine being hated because of the color of your skin. That's why I sympathize with the trans community, black folks, gays, lesbians. You know what I'm saying? Cole Hockley from Sandy Hook Promise. The and same fucking ad, dude. The same goddamn ad that played when I was doing a tribute video for 9-11's 20th anniversary. This fucking ad right here. Nicole Hockley from Sandy Hook Promise. The same goddamn ad. Dude, I'm watching this ad from back in the, you know, when, like, when I saw it during the 9-11 tribute that I was doing. This is the ad that fucking made me cry like a fucking bitch and that my trolls continue to make fun of me. They text me a picture of me going, Aah! I'm jealous. Oh I'm gonna I'm gonna text Cobra a picture of him crying on 9-11 tribute video and be like, so what's up boy? You know like fuck off dude. You know this is hard to hear but it's important. The shooter who murdered my son. The problem with pr police brutality, as Martin Luther King put it, it's the problem with the individual and the corruption because not all cops are bad. This is going back to what I said earlier, like I'll pour some out for George Floyd while we're at it. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. We'll be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I yeah, drink to that. Yeah. Exactly my point, dude. Oh, my God. This fucking speech is getting me amped up, dude. Fucking yeah. This last one is for Dr. Martin Luther King. I chugged the whole six-pack for this motherfucker. Rest in peace, Martin Luther King Jr. I'll catch you later. What's up, tubes? We got our pork ribs. We got the even uh, the oven heated to 420. Now we're gonna show you how to properly cook ribs. Step one, you want to take our fork and we're going to stab it. We're gonna add some seasoning. We got some smoky D honey chipotle barbecue. And then we're going to add some of our rust all meat seasoning. Now you want to bake these ribs until they're halfway cooked. And then we're going to take them out and we're going to sauce them. So saucing it will be part two. And then part three will be eating it. Yes. So that's what's, what it looks like so far. We're going to stick these in the oven. Just like that. What's up, tubes? Part two. See them ribs? They are slightly cooked. Ever so slightly cooked. You see this? And uh, yeah, we don't have any beer, but that's all right. So we're gonna take our mixing bowl and we're gonna add some butter. We're gonna melt it in the microwave. And while we're doing that, we're gonna turn the stove from 420 down to uh, a nice... Uh, 300. You know, take some of that country crock butter. 
I'm going to slap it in the bowl. Look at that butter. Mm. There's our melted butter. This is margarine, not butter, but whatever. I'm going to add the uh, all meat seasoning, which is already all these seasonings minus the salt. It's kind of already baked in there, so we don't need a whole lot of seasoning. I'm going to take our salt, and we're going to add a little bit of salt. Perfect amount of salt. These are the two barbecue sauces we're working with. Two different flavors. So we're going to add honey barbecue. And then we're going to add our hickory smoked brown sugar a nice even amount of each one you don't need ribs to make oh uh, you don't need beer to make dank ribs now the pork ribs have all that blood cooked out of it we're gonna add our sauce and then throw it in the oven at a much lower heat you don't need beer now we're going to throw these back in the oven at 300 degrees. There they are. Close it up. Let it bake. What up YouTube? We got them ribs. I tried one. They're not half bad. Mmm. Literally fall off the bone, dude. Straight up. Got some motherfucking ribs, dude. Oh, get you a bite. Oh, yeah. Mmm. A barbecue sauce combination. It's good. What up, YouTube? So, fuck my trolls. They're harassing people I know. And uh, the police have been informed of the harassment that my trolls have been giving me the last couple of days. It gets pretty bad when I have to get the authorities involved. So this is literally my troll's last chance. You either back off or you get arrested. I got something to say. Fuck Mr. Lantern. People are like, but he's got the mind of a five-year-old. I don't care. That's no excuse, man. Now, hear me out. Okay. If a five-year-old breaks the rules, do you reward them with a cookie? No, because that encourages him to do it. Now, I've unsubscribed from Richie Wright's channel. And... That's just how it is, dude. It's not good PR for your channel, Richie. I seriously hope Richie isn't. You know what I'm saying? Because if he is, dude, no. I saw the stream that Courtney did with Richie. And uh, this is not one of those things where you can just say it's just his autism. Like, fuck off, Richie. I saw that. It's not cool, dude. Now, I've ignored Richie Wright talking shit on his channel, saying, oh, yeah, Cobra's been drinking, and he's an alcoholic, and this and that. I got the subs, bro. You don't. And if you want more subscribers and you care about your fans, you need to ditch that lantern fuck, dude. Okay. Why were you looking at the Discord server... For, that has naked pictures. Why were you searching for children on there? We don't know. Yeah, we were just worried, y'all. It, 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 it really was going to work or not, but it, 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 it didn't work. It didn't, it didn't take it. <laughs> well, I know, I know, it didn't work. That's not, that's beside the point. The point is that yeah. you that you looked for it to begin with. Yeah, that's where the whole problem started. What up, YouTube? We got a gaming stream. Now, the Etsy customer 
Paid me some money in my PayPal to show off the wand. So check it out. You got yourself a wand, dude. Let's do a gaming stream, shall we? One of the fans sent me a Call of Duty and a new HDMI cable, and it works. Thank you for that. Also released a brand new anti-rape shirt. Well, a couple of anti-rape, new anti-rape shirts. That's all right. We'll try again. That's the one I want. Now we're talking. Double barrel 12 gauge. It's not a side by side like mine, but over under. Still a shotgun. I like the last of the shotgun. Get over here. Like, what's the deal with Richie Wright calling me an alcoholic on my channel? Do you see me drinking right now? And him sticking up for Mr. Landry didn't look right. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Appreciate the PayPal donations. They got $38.60 in the PayPal. Hey, Patrick, Spongebob's playing Call of Duty. It's tremendous. I mean, you know, Curses Krabs, you snatched me again. You know, Squidward's name backwards is Draw Dicks. I learned this today, and I was just like, that is funny as shit. Call of Duty, you're about to give me a call of duty. <laughs> Up, bro. Tried to hang out with Scotty earlier, but he's busy, so I'll try again later. No worries. The only thing that sucks is we don't have Nikolai. That is a classic Call of Duty character. I have shot gun. No, I need shot glass. One second. What was that, you ask? Uh, Shout out to the fans. Thank you for donating to PayPal. Personally, I hate bugging people for a ride to the liquor store. It just seems, you know, I have like two or three and then I'm good. Four tops. Oh, I have not drinking in a couple of days, therefore, it's feeling real nice. Suck on my 9 11. 1911, I mean, goddammit. I must say 1911 and I said something else. Goddammit. I'm not that picky when it comes to chicks, as long as they're out of age and hot. Single consenting alive. Like, oh my god, Cobra, you're playing, you're such a pig. You made a hot, slutty looking goth chick. And I'm like, and your point? I'm a dude who's straight for of age women. Sue me. I think all skin tones on chicks are beautiful, but I do have a thing for pale skin babes. I'm not gonna lie. It's not, a, it's not a preference, to be honest. There are plenty of good-looking hot goth chicks in this town. I don't mind backing off and waiting patiently. Shit, you two. It's the funniest goddamn shit. Is that why private eyes are called dicks? <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Got a juicy steak in the fridge that I'm de thawing. I'm going to try marinating it for a couple hours. And much like Call of Duty, you can play Undead Nightmare, which is 
the zombie field. Oh, but my internet cable's not connected. That's okay, I'm using the internet to do a live stream. And so we'll just do that one right there, yeah. Yeah! So fucking asshole was like trying to rape a hooker and I just took out my, my sawed-off double barrel shotgun and fucking blew that rapist to pieces. I saved that hooker's life. Hey, yeah. Careful. Still would have saved her even if she wasn't. You know. Those are the kind of acts that'll get you good reward points. Here's a schoolhouse. I can jump up to the top and see the bell tower. Look right there. Yeah, I see the bell. Mo Van Bar wanted the Waltons gang wanted for assault at Reputance Rock. A hundred sixty dollar alive, eighty dollars dead. Well, I reckon you two, we ought to saddle up. You know, pepper spray is only effective if the asshole don't see it coming. I'm not trying to be a dick, but you see her pulling out fucking mace and shit. I'm your Huckleberry. Come get you some, boy. Like I said, fuck mass shooting. I might have a thing for pale skin goth chicks, but I'm not that picky, dude. Latin Latin girls are hot. African chicks are hot. Indian chicks are hot. After four years, you can't be that picky. But a lot of chicks want to date me because, you know, I'm the over campus. Fucking goddamn it, people shooting at me, goddamn fucking wildly crowded in this bitch, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Fuck you goddamn coyotes. Fuck out of here. Shot my ass. Hold on a second, you two. That was a weird knock. Kind of in the mood for some hard boiled eggs. Got me some Doritos to snack on for later. And I got me some eggs. That's the last of my PayPal money. Appreciate it. What in the fuck is this? What do we got here? Yo. I don't know what the fuck. I'm, yeah, I'm not complaining. Thanks for the free Wendy's. We got a ranch for our fries and a ranch for our burger. Got uh, chili. Here I am. Got us up some Wendy's. Not sure who ordered it, but it's whatever. The bacon eater, yeah. Classic Wendy's right there. We're gonna add ranch to our bacon eater. So I can use it. Yeah. Mm. No shit. Good project of inhaling this. Give me the hiccups. So I'm going to save the delicious chili for uh, later. You don't have to buy merchandise to support me on YouTube, but it does help. Every time I make $30 on Customized Girl, I can have it sent straight to my PayPal. They give you a limit that you have to make before they give it to you, which is fair. <laughs> Oh, 
start class shootings. <laughs> Uh, that was loads of fun. I'm going to hang out with y'all in chat for a bit. Because I got beer. That's been like the last four hours. Gaming out. We're going we're gonna to take off just yet. Maybe on the next stream I'll play Skyrim, yes. Today we looked at Call of Duty, uh, Red Dead Redemption, the first one. Saints Row the third. Cheers, strange corks. F fucking happy birthday to Faget. Uh, I see what you did there. Okay, I stopped myself. I'm gonna have to ban you for being a smart ass. And open up Garage Band. Watch what happens when I record the saying draw dicks and then reverse it in Garage Band. Draw dicks. Draw dicks. And we reverse it. Signal. It literally said Squidward. Listen. Signal. That's not a dick I'm on right here. That's not a dick. That's a cobra gram. It's a Celtic cobra. If you think it's what you said that it is. Then you obviously have dick on the mind. Oh, my goodness, YouTube. I'm trying to brush my teeth more often. I need to. If I had known how he really was, I never would have interacted. You know, it kills me because I'm sitting there like laughing it up on Richie's stream with Mr. Lantern, and I had no idea he was like that. That's why I unsubscribed from Richie and I demonded him from my channel. Because that's just... The fact that Courtney had to explain it to him. And the fact that he said, well, it's just his autism. I saw that stream, dude. And I was like, nah. Yeah, no. All the bullshit coming out about Mr. Lantern, which it turns out to be true... That's not the kind of PR my channel really wants to be, you know. Good eggs. Yeah. Got me some grade A, double A eggs. I like to hard boil my eggs and then just eat them when they're freshly hard boiled. Even when they cooled off, they're still good. Hard boiled, over easy, sunny side. I don't care. I like eggs. They're delicious. Nice thing about hard boiling your eggs is you could take them on the go if you're careful now. You hard boil a bunch of eggs, stick them in a Ziploc baggie, and you could take them on the go, which is. A lot of celebrities that I like are actually Jewish. And I did not know this. And then I find out, and I kind of feel bad. Well, I feel bad regardless, you know. Like, I should be, you know what I'm saying? Like, people who practice witchcraft get so much shit for practicing it. So, you you know what I'm saying? That's that's another reason why I, I don't talk shit on, on Jewish people if I can help it. I might slip with the tongue and say some, like, really anti-Semitic. Okay, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Like, I've been caught on YouTube saying the word and I apologize for that. I've also been caught on YouTube saying the word faggot a lot. And that, uh, I'm sorry for that as well. That's why I keep an eye on that shit. If I get down to my last roll of toilet paper, I will find a way to get more shit tickets. The shower time should be for smelling sexy for the ladies. Not because, oh, hey, you know, you're out of toilet paper and... <laughs> 
Spread them cheeks. Look again, I'm not trying to bash on Richie, but the dude wants to say. Oh, Cobra's kind of an alcoholic, you know, he drinks on his camera. At least I'm no sick fuck apologist. Because I'll tell you what, that's exactly what Richie Wright looks like when he's trying to defend Mr. Lantern and say shit like, Oh, that's just his autism. Fuck off. But the first rule of dating is always assume they're taken. Because, honestly, it hurts less when you already know the answer is going to be no. Second rule is you, you don't get mad at it. You're like, that's just the luck of the draw. So you keep trying. It's just like win winning the lottery, YouTube. You're not going to have the perfect girlfriend or win the lottery overnight. That kind of shit takes dedication, luck, skills, patience. Okay, if you're one of those guys and you're trying to oppress chicks at the fucking gym. Like, she's trying to, she, you, know, see, you know what I'm saying? Like, she going to the gym to work out for her and nobody else. Even if you're not the prettiest or handsomest motherfucker on the planet. If you're a decent motherfucker, I don't care what you look like. If you're a decent motherfucker, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and say, damn, I'm sexy. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at me. I'm autistic. Got these big old autistic retard bug eyes. People can't tell if I'm autistic or if I got fetal alcohol syndrome. People be like, Cobra's got a drinking problem, but I got it figured out. That's what I'm saying, ladies. You find a man who's got the personality you like, but like, maybe he's physically, maybe, you know, he's not your type. Why settle? There are going to be a ton of women who reject me just because I'm going bald. Like, Jesus Christ, you're 31. You look like you're 40. Or you just walk up to her like, it's a, don't actually do this. I'm being sarcastic. You like working out? You want to lift my fat ass into the bed? Don't actually do that because you might get chicked trying to pepper spray your ass but let's say she pulls out her pepper spray like i'm about to eh all you gotta do is as soon as you see this motion block it as soon as she tries to swipe your hand away and she can spray your ass you knock the fucking bottle out of her the pepper spray bottle out of her hand and you run like shit you're better off getting a taser if the dude's a pepper junkie and he loves spicy food, the pepper spray ain't going to do, do shit. Like, unless you're allowed to carry military-grade A weapons-grade bear mace. If someone goes to fucking mace your ass, you can block the mace. They got one hand that's free. So do you. You got two hands. They got one hand. Because the other hand's holding the mace. They go to spray your ass. You can block it if you're quick enough. And then when they go to respray you, take the mace on your hand and rub it in their face. Now they're on the ground going, oh, fucking God damn it, fucking, oh, son of a fucking. 
That's why when it comes to like self defense, you're better off with like a knife or a fucking taser. Fucking mace is a joke, unless it's like military riot control mace. I did not mean to stay up this late. I really didn't. Eight hours. I'm giving you fuckers an eight hour stream. It's the last one I have apart from this one. That's just all right. I'll drink it now. I could drink it when I wake up. It don't matter. Dude, if there was at least one motherfucker who sat through all eight hours of this shenanigans, cheers to you, good sirs or madams. And even if you just tune in periodically to tune in, like, there's no way Cobra is making an eight hour long live stream. What in the actual flying f <clears throat> Couple of fans are commenting, drink all 12. Yeah, I might. Must save one to help with the hangover that I may potentially have. I say potentially because I very rarely get hangovers now. Not just because it's, it's Friday, officially. Hmm. If people are watching this fucking shit like King Cobra doesn't realize how fucking funny he is. Like, okay, people get my weird, quirky, fucked up sense of humor, like, Cobra, you smart-ass bastard motherfucker. But then people are watching this going, I can't believe Cobra just said that. Yeah. Ugh. Rest in peace, Meatloaf and Louis, Louis Anderson. Yes, this is a tribute stream. I might have spelled tribute wrong, but. Eh. Oh, dude. This made me sad this morning. Grammy Award winning singer Meatloaf has died. According to his official Facebook page, he passed away with his wife, Deborah, at his side. No cause of death has been announced. I posted some links in the chat. All right, at the top. Check out the. Speaking of Fight Club, check out the dirt and tactical soap. Doing the thing for love. I do well back. do. I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs. I'll be right back. A good hard boiled egg. I can take my ring and go, whoop. Shell cracks. I feel it show off. Shell comes off like butter and it just goes down so deliciously. Next video game stream play rock band. I'll play Brutal Legends, but I don't have rock band. Yes, I live in good old Casper, Wyoming, and it's it's my home. Yes, sir. No, I like living in Casper, Wyoming. I'm familiar with the area. I know Casper like the back of my hand. And it's where I was born. What, necessarily raised in Casper now? No. I moved around. Um, when I was born, I moved from Casper, Wyoming to Miles City, Montana. Remember, I remember going to, to Gallagher's. Oh, that takes me back to my childhood, man. My dad taught gymnastics in Miles City, Montana. And he taught it at this uh, church he was renting. And they had this big, big, big-ass bell outside 
big old platform and this big old silver bell. And like going to the park as a kid with your uh, preschool, I went to like Triangle Park, I remember that. And just looking over across the street at this big ass bell tower, dude, like fucking humongous. My dad met, met my stepmom and they got married and they moved to, uh, to Grand Forks. I remember the Pine Tree Park. My stepmom would take her dog and me and Chocolate and we'd go to the Pine Tree Park. That's what I called it because it was a bunch of pine trees. And then going to Dairy Queen for Oreo blizzards. But yeah, freaking we moved from Mile City, Montana to uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I was there for a couple of years. And then from, I remember, I remember the apartments I had lived in in Grand Forks. And then my family, we moved from Grand Forks to South Lake Tahoe, California. My dad was a uh, security guard at a casino at one point. My dad took me to work at the, when he was at the casino, and I watched him literally carry a shit ton of cash from one side of the floor to the other. And my dad says, hey, check that out. And he showed me this the card that you could win at the casino. It was his real-life Lamborghini SV. It was a sports car yellow with the S and the V and black on the side. And I, as a kid, I'm like, whoa, dude. Now, I got bullied and teased pretty badly in Tahoe. I honestly don't give a shit about that anymore because I'm a YouTube celebrity. Well, then the trip of it, after I left South Lake Tahoe, California, I moved to uh, Valley City, North Dakota. If you ever go to Valley City, North Dakota, you got to check out Pizza Corner, dude. It's a good pizza. No, I, I was in Valley City the longest as far as my childhood goes. And uh, Valley City is a really pretty town if you ever get a chance to visit. Well, then my senior year of high school came when I moved back to Casper, Wyoming, full circle, right? And I went to, uh, graduated from uh, Natrona County High School, class of 2010. Can you say go Mustangs? Uh, I've been here since, man. I'm waiting for that money for the wand order to come in. And as soon as it gets in, get in the mail Monday. Hmm. Would I eat cobra eggs? Yeah, I would. If it was just like if it was just like eating a chicken egg, <coughs> I'd totally do it. Now Colt came out with the new King Cobra handgun. And they're like seven, eight hundred dollars a pop when I could easily get a Mossberg shockwave twelve gauge for like three to four hundred. And to be honest, I don't you know, I'm not in a rush to buy another gun. <clears throat> I'm perfectly happy with the one that I have. You know. How much is rent? I pay about almost $700 a month for rent. I pay my rent, and I only have like $10 left after that. <clears throat> so that's like enough to do rent and do a load of laundry. But groceries are going up too, so it's just like... Ugh. No, my Asperger's pays the rent, to be honest with you. You don't have... Dude, if you want to donate to my PayPal for a hard liquor stream, I got you, dude. I'll buy it if you want me to. Uh, but YouTube, I want to keep going for as long as I can go, you know? I don't know when I'm going to die, and quite frankly, I don't give a shit. It's all about living that fucking... Life to the fullest. That's gross. Would you eat all 12 eggs for 50 bucks? Maybe. But y'all ain't gonna give me 50 bucks. Dude. And you don't have to. 
Holy fuck buckets, $82.99. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all gave me 50 bucks to do it. Hot. Fuck, these are hot. Fuck me, ouch. Fresh out of the fucking pan. Before I do the challenge, I gotta fucking let these bastards cool off. Hot. Look at all these hard boiled eggs. Let's see how many we got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we got twelve hard boiled eggs right there. And we'll do the challenge after these cool off. These are like fresh out of the fire. These are hot. I did not intentionally mean to overcook these. Overcooking it's better than undercooking it, in my opinion. Ah, fuck me, those are hot. All right, crack them. I got them all cracked. Sell the pie high hat. I don't think so. No, unless you're willing to pay me like $4,000 for it, which no one has that kind of money. Normal people at least laying around. I got a brand new tobacco pipe I ordered and I'm waiting patiently for no rush on getting it it's already here it's just going to be delivered kind of thing mm. Mm -hmm. the fans they paid me 50 bucks to eat all 12 of these on camera so I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm getting full too, man. I want to power through these last four eggs. Nah. Yeah, I'm getting full off these last two eggs. For the fans, we're going to push through this. One last egg. Like literally. The last egg in the bowl. I did it. I did it, it for the 50 bucks. There ain't a single egg left. I took down 12 hard boiled eggs. So I ordered some more tactical soap. Appreciate that. Got a couple bars left. Oh, yes, the silent treatment. Big shout out to the fans. We donated money to the PayPal. Cheers, folks. It's the weekend. But you're better off staying single. Oh, sure. Having a girlfriend now might be fun. But just wait. You piss her off. Isn't that always interesting, YouTube? Every time you and your buddy Chad get together and hang out and do stupid shit and be guys, she throws a fit about it. I don't like it when you hang out with Chad. And you decide to grow a pair of balls and be like, yeah, well, I don't like it when you hang out with uh, with your friend Stacy. Every time you guys get together, you trash talk me. I know you do. And don't you dare tell your woman she can't hang out with her friends. Oh, God damn it. You'll never hear the end of it. She can tell you that, but you can't tell her that. Remember that, fellas. <laughs> You, you you tell your buddy Chad about your fucking lady problems. She would lose her shit. As a dude, if you were to bring one of your guy friends into the fight or the situation, she would lose her shit. She'd be like, how dare you talk to Chad about it? It's like, you think I don't, you think, you, you know what I'm saying? You think she ain't down at the salon? 
getting her nails done by some beautiful black woman named Pepper, who's large and in charge. Mm -hmm. Sitting at the beauty salon, getting her nails done, gossiping to Pepper about all her bullshit. Like, why do they call her Pepper? Because she's salty as hell. And she ain't taking nobody's shit. <laughs> if you're a known, if you're a known woman understander and a woman respecter, anybody who says they respect women but also says they shouldn't have the right to vote is the biggest fucking two-faced piece of shit. So join me, YouTube. <laughs> yes. And I grew up watching Larry the Cable Guy, Ron White, Jeff Foxworthy, and Bill Ingvolf, Blue Collar Comedy Tour. And, my, you know, they're all funny as fuck, but my favorite out of the four would have to be Ron White, that motherfucker. They call me Tater Salad. I was very blessed to have seen Ron White perform in Casper. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. And me and homeboy Scotty went to see him live. And, uh, well, I wanted to give him a cigar. I had some uh, Black Cherry Delicioso Robustos. I had a couple of them for the show. And I wanted to, like, walk down the stage and be like, just hand it to him while he's live. But I chickened out because some asshole in the front was heckling him. And I couldn't stop laughing. So it was, it was, it was glorious, dude. He would get the chance. <laughs> The uh, right to vote is something that is an American right. This is in the Constitution. So no fucking shit. The right to vote is in the Constitution. And this dude calls himself an American. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. YouTube. One second. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy's a fucking idiot. Generously, thank you to the generous donations in my PayPal earlier. I restocked on my tactical soap as I'm down to like the last three to four bars. Yes. Yeah, I love guns. I love shooting them on the range. I love supporting my Second Amendment rights. But whenever I hear about all these fucking mass shootings, Makes me sick to my goddamn stomach. Because people are the problem, not guns. People are the ones that made guns in the first place. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. But it's a pickup artist who have the most relationships with women and the most sex. They, what they say is that... You know what's funny about the whole pickup artist thing? Is that when I wear a tactical soap, I don't even have to throw pickup lines, dude. I go to the bar. If I go to the bar wearing tactical soap, having a drink, just doing my thing, playing it chill. Like I've been saying in this entire video, Cobra's method of dating. Chill out, play it cool, and wait patiently, and rock tactical soap and believe in yourself kind of thing. Yes. It works. I get up in the bar, and I walk by as many women as I can while I'm wearing the tactical soap before I go into the men's room to piss so that every woman I walk by at the bar gets a waffle of that a whiff of that tactical soap. Regardless if they're taken or not, if the ones that aren't taken are gonna be like, hey, and the ones that are taken are gonna be like, hey, sitting there wishing their man smelled like that. And that's, the, that's just kind of how it is. You know, people were like, oh, that's King Cobra JFS. He wears the Bond tactical soap. That's kind of my shtick. Bond number one. I love that soap. I've been wearing it religiously for the last couple of years. 
One day I'm gonna meet a really hot goth chick who just loves the smell of my soap, and it's gonna, it's gonna happen. You just wait and see. Of age, cisgendered. What up, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. Boom! We're gonna need some milk and some egg and some cheese and a beer. Hold up a second, yo. Look at that. We got four, four hard-boiled eggs. And we're going to deep fry them. I already hard-boiled them bastards and took the shells off. Now into our pan, we're going to add some vegetable oil. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I have a, a plan. And how I want it to turn out. So we're gonna attempt it. A little bit of beer. Perhaps get a whole bottle, but that's all right. Like that much left. We're gonna take some all-purpose flour and we're gonna add it to our Doritos. Do milk, raw egg, and then our flour and Doritos. And then we're gonna fry it up. It's another flour for our eggs. Put a sprinkle of that rust pain meat seasoning in there just to sprinkle. There it is. Now we got two more bowls right here. So now we got uh we got our Doritos, nacho cheese with the flour, the egg, and the milk. And then we got our hard boiled eggs, which have already been boiled. And the shells have been removed. There we go. So we got to process. We're going to take our hard boiled egg, roll it in milk, roll it into egg. And we're going to roll it after we put the fry. We're gonna fry these hard boiled eggs up and repeat. Milk, egg, flour, look at those. I wanna give them a turn. periodically turn them until they're nice and golden brown on the outside just like that so far I'm liking the way they're turning out deep fried hard boiled eggs deep fried hard boiled eggs motherfucker all right now while those are frying up we're gonna put some melted cheese on top I don't want to microwave the eggs, I don't want them to explode, so we're going to do the cheese separate. We're going to microwave the cheese in our bowl. Now we're going to melt the cheese so that when we put it on our plates, we can just string the cheese all over the top of it. Oh, YouTube, look at that. Look at that deep fried, hard boiled eggs. Don't those just look decadent, YouTube? Hot! Those are greasy and hot. The batter is not really sticking to the egg, but that's all right. Unplug the pan, let it cool off. Look at these delicious bastards. Look at them. Look at it. All right. Now we're gonna take our cheese, our cheese that's been freshly melted, and we're gonna take that melted cheese and we're gonna put it on top of our egg. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now after melting the cheese in the bowl, I could take a fork after it settled just for a bit and just like tear it apart and like place it on top of our deep fried hard boiled eggs. 
Should we try them on YouTube? I think we should. Mm. That's hot. That's hot. Hot. Ah. Those are fresh, fresh hot, dude. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely an in interesting way to make eggs, dude. What up, tubes? We live. Hope you're out having a bitchin' weekend. I know I am. So I was sitting down and did the Butterfield videos. We got some brewskis. Cheers to that. Castrated, devout anesthetic, and kept in Holocaust Lake prison camps for six months. The Look, I will agree with the vegan teacher on one thing. Just one. Sometimes the way we prepare our animals for food, it's a bit fucked. You know, these animals are living in caged up enclosures their entire life. Being groomed just to die. It sounds like the human race, to be honest. I mean, we're all in that rat race trying to get that big cheese, right? Like, how is that any different? You know what I'm saying? Life itself is a cage. We're being groomed to produce more and then just die off. So it's like no different than some degree what they're doing. But at the same time, yes. When you have these animals being treated like shit before they die, it's almost like you're, you're doing them a favor, you, you know, because their life is so miserable. <laughs> Not trying to be a fucking pig, but it's like, you ever see ugly chicks that grow up to be kind of cute, and you're just like, oh, look at that. <laughs> but they all got kids already, and your ass has still got no one and no kids, and you're sitting here doing a party about it, like, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'll take being kidless and STI free over being in a in-between relationships. And not having kids, or having them, I mean, yeah. No, I don't even want, no, dude, no. You're not like a sound bitch. There we go. Turns out, I cannot order Outlaw Dip because they do not recognize certain things. It's minor inconvenience, it is what it is. I was going to order some of that Mountain Dew Lucky Lip or Fat Cut and then the Georgia Peach one. I was trying to order two of each one and then promote it on my channel, see how it do, see how they improve the formula and all that. But, uh, yeah, it wouldn't recognize my actual address. And it wouldn't recognize my P.O. box neither. And I'm like, son of a bitch. It's just loyalty, man, you know? Shit. Outlaws movie, The Dip Run, premiered in Hollywood, dude. And my wand business, Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. Uncle uh, Jesse Ryan USA was wearing that shirt, and I was just like, hell yeah. It took a small time Etsy store and promoted that shit on the big screen, dude. And I, I want to return the favor and try out all his dips and Give them a good review on, on, on the YouTube and fuck racism, but I still got the mug. <coughs> Just chilling. That wand is ready to be shipped. Betcha. I like how they say, oh, he suffers from alcoholism. That's such a negative way to look at it. I say I enjoy it. And that's the thing of it is, I don't have to be drunk all the time to make a video. But every once in a while, it's fun to cut loose and just be like, excuse me, pull a fucking archer. And be like, I get so tired of that whole, that's a chick's drink. Are you drinking White Claw? That's a chick's drink. And I'm just like, does sexism have to be in every fucking goddamn thing? No, we should el eliminate sexism. Sitting and recording on my uh, 
newest album, Satan's Bell. I got a song called I Can't Change the World, The World Can't Change Me. And fucking, yeah, not too shabby, man. I'm layering vocals with it. <laughs> the church that I recorded the video from on the side of the beautiful set of bells, dude. I posted that shit on Facebook because it's a combination. For a satanic fucker, I do like church bells. Yes, they, they're majestic. They were used in witchcraft before Christians and Catholics used it for their bell towers. That's the history of bells for you, man. Look it up. <laughs> And of course, it's it's off. So you got to re-record it. It's a lengthy process to create that sound. It's cheaper than a studio time just to do it yourself. If you have some basic knowledge of how Garage Band works, I, yeah, I grew up on Garage Band and Apple computers, so I know it how to operate it pretty easily. It's, and like people are gonna look at you like, oh, you're a Garage Band musician, just look at you like, and it's like, screw you, dude. Why don't you put your music out there? But you won't, because that takes courage. You don't want to get ridiculed for putting your music out there, so you'd rather fucking criticize someone else who does it. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to criticize musicians, be a musician yourself. You know what I'm saying, you two? <laughs> Some of the comments make me laugh. I just pretty much ignore the, the hate comments and chat, because if you're just like that desperate for attention, you don't get none. Cobra's coming up with his own drink combos and his own recipes, and all you can do is talk shit, so you just, you just get ignored. Alcohol metal, that's funny. <laughs> uh, yes. We're going to marinate a delicious Angus beef steak. Now we're going to let this marinate for a couple hours, and then we're going to cook her up. We're going to grab our bowl, we're going to melt some butter. We're going to add our seasoning and our barbecue sauce and some beer. And then we're going to just let it marinate for a couple hours, and then we're going to cook it. Oh, yes. Now we're going to grab a separate fork. Mm-hmm. We're going to fork for our butter, and then we're going to fork for tenderizing. Now that we got our butter melted, we're gonna add some stuff to it. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna add some barbecue sauce. We got our sweet and honey from Kraft. And then of course we have our hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. We're gonna use all fucking both of these. Then we're gonna sprinkle in our Rust Payne County All Meat. Then we're gonna add some beer. That's not enough beer. Now we're gonna take our other fork and look at that thick old motherfucking steak. We're gonna take it and we're gonna stab it. Same method that we use to make our ribs. We're gonna stab our our beef. Now we're gonna place our steak in this marinade. I'm gonna wash my hands. I wanna do some more to it. A little bit more beer. Splash of Mountain Dew. And we're just gonna drop a couple more chunks of butter in there. This is a Country Crock original, so technically it's margarine, but who cares, right? Mmm. I 
I might microwave it again just to get all that butter in the in here melted. I'm not gonna microwave it just because I don't want any bacteria to form on the undercooked steak with the liquid. Mm. Maybe we could just dissolve the butter by mixing it in. All right, we got it dissolved. I don't want any bacteria forming from like microwaving it like this. I'm gonna add like a little bit more of our all meat seasoning. Just a little bit, there we go. All right, so we're gonna let that marinate in the fridge. Stir it around one more time. One more time. All those butter chunks are gonna dissolve. Oh yeah. Perfect. Beautiful YouTube. Now I wanna stick it back in the fridge. And before we do that, I wanna add some salt. All right, I'm gonna add one more scoop. All right, let that marinate. Happy Sunday, folks. We're gonna let that marinate overnight, folks. Yeah, so I'll have that steak for lunch tomorrow. I got a wand to mail off. That's what's going on tomorrow morning. I'm getting some more wand wood. Five nine, six foot. That's how tall I am. The wands are not meant for that, dude. Your glasses are cool. Well, thank you, man. I love my glasses. I went. To, I got these at Walmart, and they were the most Ozzy Osbourne-ish looking glasses they had. And I got them to transition lenses, so they they turn into Ozzy Osbourne glasses in the sunlight, man. You can't even drink it without gagging. I'm not even gagging on it, dude. The only thing you're gagging on is my cock. The steak? Yeah, I had it delivered a couple days ago. And um, just waiting for the right time to cook it up. And I got some money in my PayPal. I appreciate whoever sent that. Got me some smokes and some beer and a 12-pack of Mountain Dew. So there you go. Will I stream with Gucci's? Yes. If we're in a, a location that's appropriate, I'm down to stream with Gucci's and do some live videos with her, hang out at the bar, you know. Gucci's comes to town. I'll get a couple wands made so I can have some money to take her out to the bar, hang out with her for a bit. Would a hard boil eggs and Mountain Dew? That wouldn't work because of all the sugar in the Mountain Dew. It would reduce before you hard boiled them. You'd have to like add a splash of Mountain Dew to water to make it work. Like I'm trying to be original with my cooking videos, you know. And deep fried hard boiled eggs, I don't see a recipe out there other than the one I put up. So there you go. Because most people wouldn't think, hey, can we deep fry hard boiled eggs? Why the fuck not? If you're a decent motherfucker and you're respectful to women, you wait patiently, you play it cool, and you rock some tactical soap, trust and believe. Those are the keys. And that means respecting women even if they don't respect you. Which might be called simp behavior, but fuck simp shaming. You with me on this, fellas? Fuck incels for that matter. You want me to do SpongeBob's voice? Hey Patrick, wanna go jellyfishing? Yo, SpongeBob, that sounds great. Tremendous, I mean, no, Chris's crabs foiled again. Hey Patrick, Patrick, what the hell do you want, SpongeBob? You want to go jellyfishing? Donald Duck? 
Punk rock, I could not do Donald Duck. I've tried. I've tried. Pickles. Oh, man, this got to be hilarious. It's called the grocery store, you douchebags. <laughs> Dr. Rock, so he makes me laugh. Planet Pish. Hey, you guys, uh, this is metal as shit. That Cobra's doing the metal apocalypse voices. Hey, Pickles, man. Hey, Tokis, it's Squish Scars. Oh, man, this got to be hilarious. Hey, businessman, what you do for a living? Sell shoes, cuckoo, yeah, yeah. My expectations are, like, up here, man. General life advice from me, man? You keep your expectations low, you'll never be disappointed, man. That's how it be. That's just some quick maths. <sighs> All right, what I'll say about... Well, keep your expectations low so that when you actually have good things happen for you, it feels a lot better. You're likely to get more disappointed in life when you keep your expectations too high. About this burger is great idea. Super bad execution on my part. Medium rare burgers are disgusting, dude. It's like beef tartare on the inside. I smoked it for like medium rare burgers are delicious. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm -mm. You lost a like for that. Forty five minutes. I thought that would be enough, but. <laughs> Yo, yo. Do a rap about nacho cheese Doritos. Crunchy, cheesy goodness. Drop that fucking beat, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, I have a hunch. Tastiest, cheesiest crunch. Grab a handful and a bunch, shove them in your mouth and crunch, crunch, crunch. Cheesiest deliciousness, the best in the business. Free to lay, I ain't here to play games. This is for those motherfuckers remembering the names. Nacho cheese with ease, sitting there and squeeze it back, pop it open and pop a chip in your mouth. Or dip it in some dip. Yo, who gives a fuck if it goes to your hips? Salty cheesy goodness, goodness gracious. Yes. That's what's up, Steve Lynn. There are plenty of beers in my case. I got a 24 pack and I've only had like a couple. A green chi ball, like some Dragon Ball Z type shit. I'll see what I can do. They're not brown shit stains on my hand. Sometimes when I go outside to smoke my pipe, it takes a minute to get it started. So I'll do this number. As I'm puffing on it, I'll take my hand and kind of carve it when I light it to make it go. I'll go poof and then light. But this is just nic nicotine stains for my pipe. Well, my power is strengthened with age. Yes. They do. I've noticed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've noticed. Compared to when I first started practicing the occult and magic to now, it's like, shit. Yeah. I really wouldn't consider myself a wizard. That's kind of a loose definition. But I've been doing my magical practice since junior high. <clears throat> You could say I practice sorcery, yes. Let's say that. Yes. Do I believe in hell? Yes. Hell is like my paradise. The same way Christians view heaven because they practice Christianity. So it's to some similar degree, that's how I see hell, because I practice magic and I'm a Satanist. That's the loosest way of putting it. It goes much deeper than that. I believe in the inner God. I don't believe in some stupid bullshit unseen, you know, 
There is an inner God and then there is Satan. Perhaps one day I will teach on YouTube. But for now, wait till my following gets super, super big and then I will start to teach. That being said, everyone, dark blessings. Hope you all have an awesome rest of your Sunday. I'll catch you later. Fuck the trolls. What up, YouTube? I hope you all having a bitchin' Monday. I know I am. Get some more wants made for Etsy. Yes. I got a receipt from Tobacco Pipes. Dot com. Oh. Yes, your boy Cobra picked up a Sabinelli tobacco pipe. YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, I am blown away by this. Now, this is my kind of pipe. Check out my new Savinelli, YouTube. Oh, that is just fucking sexy. I paid a pretty penny for it, too, man. Like a hundred and some odd dollars. I also got a new phone. The last one I had was so fucking old, it just would not work. Right when my dad was upgrading his old phone into a new one, I got my dad's old phone. And my my old phone doesn't work worth a shit. Um, honestly, if my old phone worked a lot better, I would give it to Campbell, but there's no point because it don't work worth a shit. Now, I will be filming... The second half of my steak video on my new phone and we're letting that marinade still. Yes, good and tender all day long, baby. You know, before trans became widely accepted, I was wearing goth makeup. I occasionally will rock some goth makeup, but when they see a cisgendered straight for of age women, white male, or just a straight male who's straight for of age women, who's cisgendered, wearing makeup. It triggers people. Like, unless you're in, like, a rock band or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And I still rock black nail polish and the occasional eyeliner when I, when I can get it. And I got so much crap for it. People called me a faggot. They said that I look like a tranny and all this other shit. And I gave him the bird and just kept doing my goth thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like the last person that's going to crap on somebody for being trans. Believe me. And you think guys don't fucking experience that kind of crap? Not periods. Fuck no. But guys get made fun of for the way they look too. Dude, why does your dick look like that? Dude, why the fuck are you staring at my dick? What, are you gay? No, bro, I'm not gay. I bet you mine's bigger. No, it's not. Prove it, you wuss. Now, I'm here to support trans and gays, lesbians, LGBTQ, plus, plus, IA. I don't know how. It changes every other goddamn day, so don't quote me on the exact pronunciation of. I call it LGBTQST. S standing for straight, and then T standing for trans. That includes pretty much. Okay, LGBT, LGBTQ, ST, A plus. A can refer to asexual. I don't know, dude. Yeah, it smells like hypocrisy. Mm. Allowing biological males to don the man. Not to mention, rest in peace, Daphne. Pour some out for that lovely lady. Dave Chappelle talked about how Daphne wanted to be a stand-up comic. She wasn't the best at it. If you saw part one, you already know what the fuck is up, YouTube. Part one, we marinate that motherfucking steak. Part two, we cooking it. This steak's been marinating all day, plus a little bit of last night. 
It don't look very appetizing, but it will be. King Cobra fam. Because it's been marinating and all that butter and that seasoning, we're really not gonna need much. Just look, maybe a sprinkle of the seasoning on top and that's it. Grab a sprinkle of our seasoning. Just a tiny sprinkle. I'm gonna flip it real quick. That's how I do. Periodically flip it. Mm. Doesn't that look good? Oh yes it do. Close up on that steak action. And we wanna go a little bit more than just pink. I like mine on the uh, medium rare side. I got a new device for recording cooking videos. So hopefully the audio don't cut in and out. Outside, a little bit of pink in the middle ain't gonna hurt. That side's done, the other side, not so much. A little bit longer on the other side. That barbecue sauce. It's caramelizing to the bottom of the pan. This is just about done. Let's cut it into a piece and see how we did. Making dang steak part two. This one took a little bit longer to make because it's been marinating all fucking day. A little of pink in the middle. It's definitely fully cooked. Not as a, a little overcooked to what I normally eat it at, but that's like barely past medium rare. Let's see how it do. It's extremely tender. The salt, the margarine, and the Payne County Rust seasoning. That's not how bad, YouTube. I'd fuck with it. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. Dude. That is some good steak. Doing a tactical soap commercial with the new phone. And you'll be able to hear me this time so the audio won't cut out. Come with me on a journey. A journey into awesomeness. Because I'm here to talk to you about... The greatest soap on the planet, Tactical Soap. This is where I keep all my slivers. Check this out, you two. Oh, God damn it. Ah! Sorry about that, I dropped the phone. <laughs> this, this is full of all of Bond. Number one, slivers. I got a Maverick number three sliver in there. YouTube, I have a conversation with you about this. Being a man, it's not about drinking beer. It's 
about the decisions you make in life. And it's also about smelling good for the ladies. And tactical soaps the bees knees, dude. Got my hair in a braid right now. There we go. Take it out of the braid and look at that. Made it naturally wavy without having to use a curler. Oh yeah, I get the water nice and right. And I only got much battery life, so we're not gonna fuck around, get in here, get it done. Listen, fellas, you gotta ditch that Irish Springs crap and pick up some of that tactical soap. And gain confidence with women and smell like a man. Does tactical soap work? You bet your sweet ass burgers it does. Like, what's the deal with the competitors? Dr. Squat is more like it. Why would you want to buy soap from somebody who sells sunglasses? I bought this soap for my mommy and daddy. My dad likes the smell of it. I like the smell of it. You too can like the smell of it. Hey man, hey man, tactical soaps the bee's knees. I'm telling you right now, fellas, man up. Just got done showering with the uh, Maverick number three. That uh, the tactical soap, it works, dude. No, my stream kind of cut out on me. I was just saying, if you want a girlfriend, you wait patiently, you got a wicked sense of humor, and you smell good, you can get yourself a lady friend. YouTube. I'm here to tell you about some rock and soap called Tactical Soap. Link description box below. Using coupon code King Cobra, I will get you 15% off. That's what's up. So let me take you along on this magical journey as we venture into unknown territory. No, but seriously, YouTube, this soap is the bee's knees. I tried to make this commercial, what, two days ago? Doing a live stream and it cut out, so we're gonna redo it. That's all right. This soap is for attractively of age ladies. It is a real pheromone soap. So keep your cool with uh, Maverick number three, yo. Yes. Shampoo is better because it goes on first. The arm conditioner is better because it makes the hair silky smooth. The arm technical soap is best because it makes you smell sexy for the amazing ladies. And there are people out there who don't even know I rock tactical soap, man. They're just like, that dude's, the chicks will be like, the of age women be like, that dude smell good. Oh, damn. If someone else points out, well, that's King Cobra JFS. He's a YouTube celebrity who wears tactical soap. Oh, I want to get some of that. Trust me, if you understand females and body language and the way women act when they get all amped up, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to get laid to know that this shit works. We got our God of War beard oil. And you don't need a whole lot, man. You really don't. That much. Some for the eyebrows. Fresh. Now the cologne comes in a stick like this. What? Got our deodorant. Now 
a little bit of body spray for the uh, inside. Perfect. But YouTube, we looking fresh. It's your boy King Cobra. We're just chilling on a weekend. Hope y'all doing fantastic. I agree. Long live Ozzy, most definitely. Dom Smith says, Cobra, I will literally send you 50 bucks right now if you shave your armpits on stream. That's a little weird, but uh, let's see the uh, 50 bucks and I'll do it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I come up with the ideas for the drink compost. It doesn't mean I always got the funds to do it, but luckily I'll be getting some money on Monday. I have a wand for sale on Etsy. I had four left. Three of them were sold. Okay. So we got one left. Get it while you can, man. I'll be making more wands when I can, dude. Mm. Someone said they dropped 50 bucks yeah. in the chat. And and someone legitimately said, I'll give you 50 bucks to shave your armpits on camera. I'm like, that's weird, but armpit hair grows back. It ain't nothing but a thang thang. Bring no cups, my dick brand soda. <laughs> Are we going back to your office after this? She ain't gonna send me 50 I'll... bucks to shed my... Dude, if I get 50 bucks in my PayPal, I'll fucking shave my pits on camera. Like, it ain't nothing but a thing, dude. People always talking shit on Little Caesars, but I'm like, dude, it's good for crackers on the struggle. You, you feel me, YouTube? It is good for crackers on the struggle. Where else can you get a fucking whole pizza for like six bucks? That's that's real talk, dude. Because most places, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like the bad guy. I'm, I'm smoking like okay, so, so, well, How old were you when you first smoked? What? How old were you when you first took a drag of a cigarette? 10, 11, don't laugh. Seriously? No. You never stopped? No. No. <laughs> Man, speaking of cigarettes, man, goddamn fucking cigarettes are going up in price. Fucking asinine, YouTube. It is fucking bullshit. Cigarettes are goddamn six, seven bucks a pack now. I'm just like, fucking, dude, I swear to God, if cigarettes go up to like $10 a pack, I'm going to switch to pipe tobacco completely. Yellow. This next one is a lovely royal blue one with a little seahorse in the middle. I think that was actually really cute. So this one's definitely the most revealing of the bunch. I like this this kind of V along here, really like accentuating my curves, really like going <laughs> in at my hips. And I really yeah. like this one around here too. I think that it's extremely flattering. And I think that this seahorse is so freaking cute. I already knew that I would love this one. As you can see, it's just a really, really, really nice blue color. I think that it's so freaking cute. I think it looks really good on my body. I absolutely. I would second that motion, YouTube. I fucking totally second that motion. Like, that's just how it is. If I wake up in the morning, I gotta have some sort of tobacco in my system. Otherwise, my whole day cannot start until I at least function with some tobacco in my system. Look out, Michael! I got my phone, dude. And yes, there are people out there who will literally dig in an ashtray for their habit. You get a bunch of cigarette butts, take them all home, squeeze all the tobacco into a bag, all the butts just empty them out into a bag, and then like. Get a cigarette paper and a scoop of that snipe and just snipe tobacco and roll it. I've been that desperate for tobacco once or twice in my life. It ain't pretty. $55.10. Well, goddamn. I did say if I got 50 bucks, I would shave my armpits on camera. Thank you for whoever donated that. I don't really give a shit about my armpit hair, to be honest. It's just armpit hair. It'll grow back. Well, I'm not shaving my goddamn head. You can piss off with that.
but I will shave my pits on camera. I have a very, 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 very old rechargeable shaver we can use. It gets the job done. Sometimes it takes a little redneck rigging it to uh, get it going. There it is. Yeah, I'm not going to try to shave the rest of this off without this being fully charged. Oh, man. Oh, fucking yank got my hairs. I'm good on that. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, ouch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's let this charge up more. Oh, God damn it. Ow. You don't want to shave with something that's not fully charged because it'll just fucking yank at your hair and doesn't feel too good. So, yeah, by, by, by my next live stream, you ain't going to see a mustache on this face. So you want to see me shave my pits for 50 bucks on YouTube? That's ridiculous. You guys are silly. I mean, shit, you want to see me shave my armpits for 50 bucks? You guys are weird, man. Dude, I haven't shaved my armpits since, like, freaking junior high. I got to a point where I just said, fuck it, and I quit caring about how my body hair looked. It's going to be weird not having hairy armpits. So used to having the pits be all nice and hairy and manly. It's all matted with deodorant from the axe. Oh, that's gross. I put that in there. I got a little rim on the, my head. It's more than that hat, man. That unholy hat needs to be broken in. Like, oh my god. I don't know why the fuck you pay me 50 bucks to shave my armpits, but that's not that's not an unusual request. That's not too much of an unusual request. Yeah, not the prettiest of shaved jobs, but it's shaved. Dude, all that armpit hair is just matted with deodorant. I'll have to put, re reapply my deodorant after this. Oh, fuck off. I mean, the worst shit you could do for 50 bucks, right? Yeah. Hey, joke's on you. This is the easiest 50 bucks I've made. The only one that's pathetic is the asshole commenting that. Like, I'll give Cobra 50 bucks to shave his armpits. And I'm like, well, let's see the 50 bucks then, motherfucker. I check my PayPal and, huh, look, what are you there? I call that a business exchange. So matted with deodorant. I 
Now the deodorant's gunking up the blade. Hold up. There we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'd call those pitch shaved. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck you don't want to pay me 50 bucks to shave my armpits. But hey, it's 50 bucks. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to reapply the deodorant. Yeah. Mm. So a big thank you to whoever donated the fifty to five dollars and ten cents. Yeah, buddy. That's most definitely what the fuck is off your told. That was a uh that was it's not e begging, that's called a business exchange. So I accidentally listed wand number two on Etsy. I thought I didn't list, so I relisted it, and it listed it twice. Luckily, I have an extra wand made out. So I did successfully sell five Etsy wands. I appreciate it. We're going to need a drink for that. Yes. And we're going to go off on a rant, because this article has got me fucking pissed. We also picked up a little something extra. Look at that right there. You want to buy a six shirt? I have uh, my new anti-rape shirts or my uh, customized girl. Let me look for it real quick. And, of course, the classic people suck, I need a beer t-shirt. Yes, I used... Graphics from Customized Girl for some of these. Well, good. No one's asking you to buy it, dude. If you think the merchandise looks like shit, then don't bother with it. The Boglum shirt is hilarious. And they always call me the Boglum, whatever the fuck that means. So I'm like, let's make a shirt about it. Like, you want to make fun of me for crying on 9-11? Okay, I'll, I'll make a shirt about about you fucking sad asshole trolls. Yes. I don't give a fuck how it's spelt. I spelt it Boglem or Boglum. It doesn't fucking matter. Who cares how it's spelt? The fact that you're spell checking me on that shows I won. <laughs> this is old smoky moonshine. It's not real moonshine. It's genetic. Just for labeling purposes. Correction, I'm a functioning alcoholic, for one. And two, no one asked you to donate. Like I said, you don't have to donate. And to be fair, I don't always spend my money on alcohol when I get it. You know, maybe I'll order like a pizza or some sh You know what I'm saying? Did you realize that I have Ozzy's music on my iTunes? So naming 20 songs would be incredibly fucking easy. I'm I'm a goth hippie metalhead civil rights activist with a touch of cowboy and like the whole satanic magic thing with like quartz crystals and stuff like that. Oh shit. You're gonna stir it around with Put the lid back on it first. Uh, you know, I like drinking alcohol. I don't. I don't see how anyone can do like meth and shit. You know, it's just I've seen what it does to people, and it's not my scene. Uh, I, I've seen what what meth does to people. It, it, it's just fucking sad, YouTube. It really is. I haven't touched. Alcohol in like the last two days, 
it's after Friday. It's Friday, and it's after 5 o'clock, so I'm like, let's have a drink. I may be a Satanist, and I may practice dark magic and put my own twist on it, my own special little twist on it, but I believe in using my dark powers for good and making the world a better place. I get so fucking tired of people being like, oh, Satan's this, this evil son of a bitch in a lake of fire. And I'm like, that all sounds fun and dandy, but it's like Satan's just misunderstood. And you want my personal opinion? I think we create our own hell, to be honest. Nothing happens when you die. It's just whatever you believe in kind of thing. That the... Uh, the human after the afterlife is just a mirrored reflection of human life, but constantly evolving and constantly changing, which means people from the 1800s are also coexisting in the same afterlife with people from the 1900s, and all the uh, all these uh, modern day conveniences, like say you drink a beer and you eat a cheeseburger. That beer and that cheeseburger go to the afterlife for the spirits to enjoy. So if they want something, all they got to be like, having armpit hair doesn't define you as a man. It's your character and your personal choices and your maturity level. I'll give you $100 to shave your head bald. Yeah, not going to happen, dude. I already shaved my head once, and it took me like two and a half years to grow my hair back. Not happening. What about $666 would be pretty badass. Even for the Mark of the Beast, $666, I'm not shaving my goddamn hair. I don't even give a fuck what it is. I've been told I look good with a shaved head. I personally fucking hate it. I think I look better with longer hair. That's just my opinion. Everyone else's opinion can pretty much fuck off. Not even for a thousand dollars, Credo Ape Thor. And no one in their goddamn right mind's gonna donate a thousand, two thousand, or three to four thousand dollars to sh watch me do that. I'm not shaving my chest. I like my hairy, manly chest. What the fuck did Cobra order? Ha oh, ha! What? It's your boy King Cobra. We just ordered the uh, Little Caesars. Uh, their Batman Calzone, crazy Calzone thing. Oh, we got some crazy bread. Oh, yes. YouTube. The Little Caesars Batman Calzone. Oh, yes. We got to get up on that crazy bread action. If you have not had Little Caesars crazy bread, you're missing out. Oh, yeah, I want to take a piece of that. Get a piece of that. Oh, my God. YouTube. Adding two cups of garlic butter to the top of your Batman crazy calzone. So unnecessary. But right now, my oh my god, that is rich. Hold up. I have a high metabolism, so I don't really get that terribly fat when I pig out. I love drinking and partying and having a good time, but it starts to catch up to you just a little bit. And you're like, whoa there, Cobra. Slow down just a little bit. Nobody wants to see you get burnt out on alcohol and greasy pizza. 
I'm sure a lot of people would love to see that. Watch King Cobra JFS become an alcoholic burnout who only eats greasy pizza and just sits there with farts on camera. He says, fuck the trolls all the time. I'm sure you'd love that. But I'm more than just that. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Or to the eye doctors. Got my glasses tightened up. Now when I look down, my glasses are not going to fall off my goddamn face. I don't see it as old or young, so to speak. Like, oh, that person's 86 years old. And someone else says, no, that person is 86 years young. I don't see it like that. I see it as they're 86 years of age. You know, and I'm not complaining. And women want to call me shallow for saying that, but how many fucking women have gone on social media and sat there and said they want a man who's six feet tall and et cetera, et cetera, wants a six-foot dick when he's hard and six-pack abs and a goddamn six-celery income. Women will view sex like, here comes Fabio. On a white horse, rushing down on a beach with this romantic sunset and seagulls chirping in the distance, the water rushing against the waves, and this strong buffed man with his long hair and his good looks sweeps you off his feet. Genders ruin it for each other and for themselves. That is something to keep in mind when it comes to the dating scene. She'll call you a creep if you're saving pictures from her Instagram and checking her out. But if it's a guy she finds attractive, all of a sudden it's a different story. All of a sudden he's not a creep. No, he's just perfect for her. I built my goddamn dream house. You never know, YouTube. If I won the lottery and built my dream house, I would slap a million dollars on my landlord's desk. Yes. That would cover everyone's rents and these parts for a long time, including my own. No, when I first moved into... This apartment, I was like, okay, it's a new space. But after a year of living here, I love my new apartment. Dude, the location is perfect. I have a beautiful view outside my window of Casper. My landlord and his or her and or her associates are a fan of my videos. My neighbors watch my videos and they kind of feel sorry for me because I'm autistic. And I appreciate it, but at the same time, feel more sorry for our society. First time I tried it, I was just like, I wonder what Baja Blast original Mountain Dew would taste like with Taco Bell's Mango Fiesta Tea. Let's see what it would taste like. And oh my, f f dude, slap Satan, it's so good. No disrespect to the dark word. You want, the, you want a tip to making cops like you, no matter how famous you are, is even if you smoke pot and it's illegal in your states, Outside of that, try not to cause any trouble. Just avoid trouble like you avoid the plague. And it doesn't matter to some degree anymore if you're black or white. None of that shit matters. If we don't give the cops a reason to suspect you, then they ain't gonna fucking harass you. And when they do interrogate you about it, you just cool as a cucumber. You know, it's all about perspective. 
you got about half an ounce in your glove box of marijuana and you don't want the cops to see it, so you're just like, why, hello, officer. Was my driving a little erratic? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You give them some story that's legit. Like, your third cousin is dying of cancer, and they live all the way in Colorado. Like, yeah, they were a real close member of the family, man, I tell you what. Joe Biden's going to take away our guns. And I'm like, somebody who famously said, sometimes all you need's a double barrel shotgun, I highly doubt uh, that person's going to uh, take away our guns. Because if they do, the uh, hypocrisy of it uh, will make your head spin. Tubes. We chillin'. Like rock star villains. So I got a couple jokes to swing your way. Did you hear about the bubblegum YouTube? Yeah, you know what a bubblegum's favorite music is? I heard it was pop music. Uh, you know why the church bell went to special ed? Well, he was a real dingling, I tell you what. You know what a church bell's favorite part of the egg is? The yolk. If you're obsessed with church bells, you'd get that last one. You'd be like, oh, the yolk. This guy's making bell jokes. You know, like you're sitting there driving your car, and it's giving you problems, but it still works for you. And you're like, she's my baby. That's my girl. Keep going, man. You got this. And some asshole is like, did you just assume your car's gender? What? Did you just assume your motherfucking car's gender, you piece of shit? Excuse me? Did you ask your car's permission for consent before assuming their gender? Oh my god, you cisgendered people are the worst. I'm Popeye, the fucking sailor, man. <laughs> Wow, I'll have you blow me down. I'll have you cream me spinach. You like voice impressions? No, that's the best, dude. When I go to a bar and I'm gothed out, I'm all black. I go outside for a cigarette and I see a cute chick, and I see a cute of age chick at the bar smoking a cigarette with me. Just randomly bust out the Spongebob voice. She has no idea when it's coming. It just happens, and two things are going to happen. One, she'll either think I'm weird and creepy or funny as shit, or two, she'll laugh her ass off like, what? You're hoping for the latter of the two. I appreciate whoever donated all that money to my PayPal. I got off of my live stream last night had like $200 in my PayPal. I was just like, well, now thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. I took half of that 200 and stuck it in my bank account now. Because my bank account was in the negative. And I didn't even ask for it. The people just give it to me. And you want to call me a fucking e-bagger, go fuck yourself. Plus the 200 some odd dollars I made off of Etsy. We'll get them shipped out on Monday. I do appreciate y'all buying the wands. I might get me some more booze after a bit, but I just woke up, so I really don't need it, need it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even really need it. It's just a, it's a wand. So you're sitting on the toilet like this. You unzip your pants. You're literally taking your foot and going, yeah. You're holding the door closed with one foot, trying to take a shit with the other. With the other foot, like, I'm going to kind of, like, do this Jerry MacGyver mover where it's just like, okay, we're going to straddle the toilet. Oh, I've got more. Just give me a second. Like, what's the deal with gas prices? Golly, it's getting more expensive to pollute the environment. If they could find a way to clone the oil we already have, you wouldn't have to drill for it. And it would cut down on fracking. And make gas a whole lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. uh, I watched Jack Osborne in an interview, and he said, well, the, the question was, what's the hardest part about being famous? 
and Jack Osborne said the internet trolls. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually pretty fair. I'm not just saying that because I'm like Ozzy's biggest fan or nothing, but you know. Brand new bottle, not a sponsor. That seriously just fucking stabbed my head. Dude, you gotta be careful when you're shredding on the guitar, man. Fucking these little fucking bits on the end right here. That that shit fucking stabbed my finger. One time I was playing the guitar and a string snapped and literally stabbed me in the arm. I had to pull that shit out. I was just like instead of being like, fuck that hurt, I was like, that was metal as shit, dude. I reckon that would be as fast as I can go on the guitar. I always try to get more accurate because fucking speed on the guitar doesn't matter shit. If your accuracy is off, then you can be like lightning fast, but it'll still sound like shit. It's fucking disgusting. It's easier to talk shit on somebody who's autistic and loves to play guitar than it is to actually, I don't know, start your own YouTube channel. No one's watching your fucking sad ass sitting there on your little keyboard in your mom's basement shoving Big Macs down your goddamn gullet like, I hate Cobra. I wish my cock was as big as his. Huh, I wonder what boob feels like. Huh, I'm going to channel all my rage into hating Cobra. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but as soon as I get hungry and I run out of that pizza that I, that I got done there, Ordering the other night. Trying to make me some deep fried hard boiled eggs. Mm -mm -mm. They are delicious. And like, what's the deal with going to a party where you literally know nobody but the dude who took you there? Like, yo, bro, there's this bitchin' party going down. Like, oh. You know, like, I'm totally down. What's the age crowd like? They're all chicks and dudes our age. Okay, cool. And you, like, you go to the party and, like, you're the only motherfucker there that dresses the way you do. Everyone else just kind of looks at you like you're weird. Yeah. They'd be like, so who the fuck are you? Do I know you? Oh, I'm so-and-so's friend. Who? Oh, so and so, yeah, he's friends with the uh, with the cousin of the dude who's hosting the party, like that kind of thing. And it's just like, yes, check PayPal. Mm. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh diggity damn! Eighty-seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. Now that's pretty bitching. No, I have not been vaccinated yet. The COVID-19 just bounced right off of me, dude. So, yes, I'll crack some jokes, but at the end of the day, I do take the coronavirus seriously. And, you know, if you got symptoms, oh, believe me, I've been monitoring myself. I'm like, well, this whiskey tastes pretty fucking good. At one point, I had an ear infection that went away. I can hear now, which is nice. You get to the point where it's like, that chick's cute. Ten seconds later, she's taken. That's predictable. Next one, for sure, dude. You get told no by every chick you like. Eventually, you're just like, screw it. I'm done trying. I want to keep doing my thing. And if a cool, hot, of age chick falls into my lap, fuck yeah. If not, it's no skin off my shoes. A neck flex. Uh, can't really neck flex. One, I got my bandana and the spikes over it with the fucking necklace. And then. But I, I do have a thick neck. Yes. How much money to shave the beard? Uh, I'm not shaving my, my goatee, man. Not unless you want to donate, like, $3,400, you said sarcastically. I'm not shaving my fucking eyebrows. I'll get in between my eyebrows so I don't have a unibrow kind of thing. 
But I'm not shading my fucking eyebrows. That's just... No, I, I had one wand that was for a friend of mine. But I can always remake hers. That's not a big deal. She's already got a man, so don't even bother. I'm not going to say who she is. But she's a sweet, a sweet older woman. She really is. I did not stalk anyone in fucking high school. It got interpreted as that because women held more accusing rights than men do in the dating scene only because, you know, that's how it is. If a woman so much as breathes the word sexual harassment, who is it, honey? Who's, whose balls do we got to stomp on? I'm very sensitive to the spirit world, YouTube. And I'm not just saying that, like, that's legit. I fucking love it, to be honest. Someone says, hey, you want to go visit this haunted location for a couple hours and do some ghost hunting? I'm like, well, bring some weed and bring some beer, and I'm totally down. <laughs> because when you've consumed the spirits... Talking to spirits becomes so much easier. You're drunk with confidence. You're just like, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You know, I have massive respect for the other side. Because ghosts can do some really fucked up shit to human beings. They can possess you, haunt you, become attached to you, rape you, flood your house, burn it down. Oh, my God. Mm. Like, fucking ghosts and poltergeists are something you don't want to fuck with. I've seen some shit, man. Supernatural shit. Things moving on their own. Either because of my mind frequencies. Or because of how haunted the location is. I've actually made stuff move with my mind. If I focus on it long enough and I, like, tune into the right brain frequency, I've seen me do it. And it's just like, that's fucking cool. I can use my sick lighter that I got for Christmas. Check that out. Looks like a fucking bolt-action hunting rifle. It's a pretty sweet barbecue lighter. It's refillable. I got this for Christmas from my parents. And the bolts kind of, you can like pull the bolt up and then push it back down. It doesn't kind of like a bolt action, but like, yeah. Uh, it's my troll slaying gun. I got them trolls in my sights. Hi, dear. How you doing? I got a friend who's in the hospital with pneumonia, so I'm wishing them a speedy recovery. I'll smoke and drink to that. If people are going to try to teach me like arpeggios on the guitar, it's going to be like, you're going to have to break it down like chord, string, note by note. For me to get it, otherwise I'm not gonna learn it. Because if you start going off about note musical notes and shit, I'm gonna be like, okay, I love music and I'm totally down for it. But like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm one of those freaks of nature that can't read music but is damn good at it. Some degree. That's my personal opinion. 
Last time I showed my shotgun off on a Courtney stream, and people were freaking out. They're like, oh, my God, you're being unsafe with it. I'm like, dude, I know the inside and out. I know how that thing works, operates. I can't tell you how many times I've disassembled my shotgun and then put it back together. Hundreds of times. I actually had a female cop show up to my apartment the next day when that sh happened. Just making sure I wasn't going to do nothing stupid. And I says, I'm fine. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Because apparently here in America, you can't be proud of your gun, proud of your country, and proud of your goddamn flag without someone having a stink about it. Because that's exactly how it is. And, you know, some people are going to look at this video and go, how is this entertaining? Cobra said he'd do stand-up. The, so, there was some stand-up in this video. There was some, like, self-reflection. It's 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 the King Cobra JFS channel. I don't know I don't know how to personally explain it, but if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. You, you're gonna watch this and be like, yeah, Cobra is on point with this shit. The effect I was going for, yes, you really don't. And it's like it really is a exception if you think about it, YouTube. It's amazing I haven't caught in food poisoning with some of the shitty cooking I've done in the past. I only say that because no one tells me these things. But as far as the uh, cooking goes, my cooking has gotten a lot more sanitary. And the recipes are original. Pretty much a door dash the ingredients to recreate the recipe. Slash other delivery company for the beer. I found a company that will deliver alcohol to my front door. I don't gotta bug and harass my friends and family for a ride to the liquor store. If I got the money, I could pay a couple extra bucks. That's keeping somebody else employed and keeping my ass drunk. So it's just. That's a win-win for a lot of people. I don't need alcohol to have a good time, mind you, but I do enjoy it. That's what Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech was about. Is that if it's wrong, you know what I'm saying? If it's right and wrong for this person or this group, it should be right and wrong for, you know, racial equality. That's what it's all about. Dude, my hands all sticky from spilling it all over my goddamn hands. Uh, you got soda pop in your drink combo. It's going to make your hands sticky if you're sitting there. Like, oh, this is so good. You, t uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's all over my hand. Who cares? Switch hands. Wipe it off on your pants like a fucking savage animal. How to make delicious nachos. Step one. Grab your nacho cheese Doritos. Step two. Put them on a plate. Nummy. Step three. We're going to add some cheese to the top of these. Now that you got your fucking cheese on there, we're going to microwave it until that cheese is ooey gooey, yes please. It's not gonna take that cheese long to melt. It's a little bit longer. It's a little bit longer. Let's see how these nachos do. Oh, yes. Hot. These are fresh out of the microwave. 
Look at that cheese pull. Nachos, ha ha ha. Ha, ha. It's funny to spell boglum wrong, but it'd be even funnier if I took the U out and added the I, because I'm weaponizing what the trolls are doing to me and then just turning it against them. <laughs> so yeah, I took the U out of boglum and made it boglim, like it fucking matters. <laughs> fucking cool taste. I meant to say goblin, and and it came out boglum or whatever. It's just some fucking stupid internet meme. Your boy Cobra is becoming a cultural icon, dude. I got fans all over the world. <laughs> Hope y'all having a fucking awesome Monday. I got the wands boxed up, and tomorrow I'll be getting them in the mail. Let's find some videos to watch on YouTube. Oh, hello. Damn. This is a uh, YouTuber by the name of... Patreon giveaway knife, the path of fire. This chick is badass, dude. This chick, this chick makes, uh, she makes swords and knives. So you got to check that out. If you're into like sword and knife making, I'll give this a copy and a paste. I've been subscribed to her channel for a hot minute. I do send my blessings. I see Bobby Zamora, Jesus Christ. I am six foot. Fucking relax with that question, dude. Uh, the steel is 295. Tips for a beginner Smith. Stop watching videos online. Go Smith. And then you'll have you'll know the right questions to ask. Are you at age? I am almost 36 years old. Dude, don't be making comments about your titties. That's inappropriate, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm if so people sorry. are posting douchey comments. I have moderators in all these places, and you're going to be blocked, like, for life. The path of fire. I'm sorry if you get any obnoxious comments. I have no control over that. So, so yeah. She has a man, by the way, so, yeah. If you, if you want to say stupid-ass shit, go for it. But it's just like, you'll never see me on any platform ever again. So I hope your stupid comment is worth it. Yeah, stupid comments just going to get you blocked. Amen to that. I am not a fucking sicko, dude. I fucking hate sick fucks. Okay. That right there just makes my trolls look obsessed with sickos. You're not even the real King Cobra JFS. Jesus Christ, my trolls are dumb. Okay. I'm the real cobra live right now. I hate. Yeah, this is going to comment that right there. <laughs> Dude. Fuck you all, okay? You've been placed in timeout by the owner of this video or a moderator. Dude, piss off. I hate child molesters, and I'm not sending anyone. I have no control over my trolls, okay? All I did was say, oh, hey, here's a cool Scottish chick who fucking makes wicked fucking knives and swords. Check her out, man. Pff, fucking ridiculous. I'm not going to watch this, dude. Yeah. I'll find a different video. Screw this. And uh, Path of Fire, I'm sorry that my trolls are harassing you just because all I did was say, hey, this chick makes badass swords and knives. Check her out. My subscription count, my subscription count does not reflect my true fame. I have a couple celebrities in Hollywood who watch my videos, dude. Fuck around. Fuck around, dude. I'm just a rock and roll rebel, and I'm as free as a breeze. They say I worship the devil. Why don't they open their eyes? I don't worship Satan. He's he's a brother, and, and I idolize Satan. There's a difference. He's a brother, a mentor, and a friend. He's always there for me. 
seriously, my trolls are more addicted to me than I am to alcohol, and it's not healthy. 22 bells, 100 tons of bronze. As you know from climbing up the tower just now, it's pretty fun to explore yeah. these towers. And so do you guys want me to give you yeah, like I never two... get tired of watching this video. This is just, even though I'm a Satanist, I can appreciate the, the beauty of churches. I renounce Jesus Christ in the name of Satan. I like the microwave because it's it's convenient. I don't gotta fr fire up the stove to cook anything. Just on a plate, hit a couple buttons. Boop, boop. <laughs> People might crap. See, e even if I won the fucking lottery, I would still fucking eat microwave food because it's just a staple of how it is, you know. Fucking hot pockets and microwave burritos. You know, it's cheap and it's delicious. That's that's all I got to say. Like, honestly, if I won the lottery or became this international rock star, I would never change. I'd still be the same Josh Saunders that you see in front of you right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I look at the key fob, too. Oh, yeah. There are 271 steps in total. 271 steps. That's a workout, man. Considering that Big Ben has like, what? What is it? Okay, how many steps does Big Ben have? I want to Google this because Big Ben's my favorite clock tower. Hold up. Holy shit balls! So Big Ben, the clock tower, has 334 steps. Ha! Three and four. Ha! It's my favorite clock. Ah, oh my God, that's great. Because Doritos, you can't just have one. Oh, no, 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 no. You open a bag, you gotta have a couple of handfuls. A little pinch mm. of crunchy, delicious goodness. Dude. I love nacho cheese Doritos. I don't care what anyone says. The greatest goddamn chip on the planet. Okay, that's that's a bit excessive, Cobra. Behave. <laughs> but no shit. Illuminati confirmed. Okay, stop. <laughs> mm. A little distracted. I, I, I love playing the guitar, dude. It's great. Like, I, I got into guitar playing when I was in junior high. Junior high school. I saw a BC Rich Warlock Bronze Series guitar with a skull on it. And I thought that was just the fucking coolest thing on the planet, dude. And my parents were like, we're not buying you another fucking instrument until you buy it yourself and then we'll pay for lessons. I, I got a paper route delivering papers for the Valley City Times record. And I'm sitting there delivering, you know what I'm saying, papers in like piss cold North Dakota weather. I only make a couple cents off each paper. And then I'd have anywhere from like 48 to 64 papers to deliver in my general neck of the woods. And I was good at my job, dude. But like when I quit my paper out, a lot of people were just like, but he was so good. Like a lot of people called to complain. They're like, hey, I didn't get my paper. Well, it was Josh's last day, so sorry about that. So someone else had to fucking do it. So, like, once I developed my work ethic, like, people that I worked for or worked with generally enjoyed it. I will respect you if you respect me, and I have a good work ethic. There was a big difference between people who are playing to make music they want to hear versus, like, oh, hey, I'm playing because you want to get discovered, you know, and People who are playing to get discovered, that's just, ugh, dude, you're adding more genetic shit to the genre, dude, in my personal opinion. Like, sometimes you're just involuntarily celibate 
and that's kind of the bitch of it. And dudes get so much crap for being involuntarily celibate, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, okay, as soon as we try to get laid, we're thirsty assholes who only want pussy. And then as soon as we fucking say, you know what? That's just my dry spell. Fuck it. I'm going to wait patiently. We get shit for that, too. There are a lot of dudes who are in my similar situation. All I got to say to that, fellas, is keep waiting patiently. Keep respecting women. And keep rocking that tactical soap. There was a gothic clothing line that I followed on Facebook that has the unholy hat. I gave it a like and posted it on my Facebook. And one of my fans was like, I'm going to buy it for you. Oh, and the irony, it's not big enough to fit my head. So I got to like literally stretch it out before it will fit. That's how it was with the King Cobra malt liquor hat, which I still have. Excellent, right? <laughs> and that's just the thing of it, dude. Like, I don't give a shit if you go to church on Sundays. I don't give a shit if you're Christian. You go out of your way to harass me because I carry a magic wand in my pocket and practice magic. Then I want to fucking say some shit that will just completely shatter your existence of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, if people want to have one of those intellectual conversations that make your brain go, Ow! That makes my brain hurt. I trust alcohol over Zoloft for my Asperger's or Ritalin or Stracara. Which, growing up as a kid... I was forced to take either Zoloft, Ritalin, Stratera. I remember all these prescription drugs I was being forced to take as a kid. And I, I didn't like it. I fucking hated it, to be honest with you. I was like, eh. I hated the way they made me feel. I'd rather smoke pot and drink alcohol for my autism and smoke tobacco then fucking take Stratera, Ritalin, or Zoloft. Of course. Holy shit balls. $120.64. Thank you to those of you who donated. Yeah, YouTube. That, uh, that burger looking pretty dank. I have to crack open another beer while I'm watching it. What? What do we have here? What do we have here, folks? We have a Jersey Mike's sub <coughs> that I ordered. I was teasing you a little bit on the camera, but we got some Jersey Mike's. Give it a five stars. That'll help the restaurant and the dasher. There we go. So this sandwich that was ordered is a giant size on rosemary parmesan bread. Extra bacon, extra cheese, extra meat, honey mustard, jalapeno peppers, lettuce, mayo. Olive oil, blend, onions, oregano, red wine vinegar, salt, spicy brown mustard, tomatoes, and yellow mustard. This is the uh, King Cobra JFS official Jersey Mike sub. Not on the menu, but if you want to order it, would recommend. You want to judge me harshly for it? If I don't complete this challenge, I don't care. I don't, quite frankly, don't care. YouTube, I hate to be like this, but I'm full. I really do hate to be like this. I want to be that badass YouTuber that does sick, amazing challenges. But 
this Jersey Mike sub that I created is super filling. YouTube, this Jersey Mike sub is swinging. Like a church bell ringing, ringing my taste buds like. I do appreciate y'all tuning in. Oh my God. Fucking five hours. This is ridiculous. Men are sick and tired of being shamed for being involuntarily celibate. That's become a thing now where it's like if men try to get laid, we get simp shamed. If we aren't getting laid, we're shamed for it. How are you supposed to win, dude? No, I love smoking pot for my Asperger's. It's, it's great, dude. Although sometimes I feel guilty about smoking marijuana just for my Asperger's because I feel like, hey, man, your condition is not severe enough for it. Like there are people out there who need medical marijuana worse than I do. So I kind of guilt trip myself on that. So then like, I'll go a couple of days without smoking it, even if I have money to get a bag kind of thing. It's, it's pretty fucking sad to think that cocaine comes from a plant and yet it's illegal. Like cocaine is made from the same plant that makes chocolate. It's the truth. And like freaking ch chocolate's addicting, dude. The only time I get vegetables is if like I order a Supreme pizza or if I get like a sandwich or a sub. That's the thing of it, YouTube, is I actually like vegetables, but I like meat more than I like vegetables. You think the first human beings on this miserable fucking planet survived because they were strictly vegan, like berries and shit? Now, the first human beings, they did eat mixed nuts and berries and any kind of plant that was edible that they could scavenge for that didn't kill them or anything like that. But the humans that the first human beings also would hunt. Also, the first human beings were probably like that tall. But as people started cultivating food and pumping it full of hormones and all kinds of shit, all of a sudden humans went from being this tiny, the first human beings, to like the size we are now. And I'm like, that had to suck growing up. And I can't begin to, dude, I got bullied and teased and harassed. Like when I was a senior in high school, we had this substitute for gym class. And I'm rocking my long hair like I like I have now, you know what I'm saying? Only it was a lot fuller back then. And they would the gym teacher was doing roll call and this fucking little skank in my gym class. Here's how it happens. The gym teacher was like Josh Saunders and I said here present kind of thing, you know, whatever, right? And then some little fucking in my gym class was like, oh, that's Saunders. He's the weird kid. And instead of calling her a fucking stupid every name in the book, I said, yeah, I'm weird and I'm proud of it. Well, at the end of the, <laughs> at the end of the year, when we were playing, when I was in gym class and we had open gym, pretty much to stay active kind of thing, I had on a muscle shirt showing off my huge biceps. That same little that called me the weird kid in school was totally checking me out like, hey. Yeah, they're really saying, oh, you just had these movements that occur suddenly. That's literally all they said back to you. But anyway. Yeah, right. that's, that's helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't. Like, you, you're reading the back of the ingredients. Hydroglutamine, fentanyl, blah, 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 whatever. It's... You know, that's how it is. And you're just like, what the fuck is hydroglutamine fentanyl kind of thing? I know fentanyl is a drug that you take, but I was just using that as an example. So the first outfit that I'm actually going to be showing to you guys today is the outfit that I am already wearing here. And this outfit I just think is really, really cute, guys. 
Um, obviously, I love black, and this album. Is yeah, I'll drink to that, Eugenia. That's what's up. I usually wear all black myself. I, you know, like I get my shoes and my jeans from Walmart. No shame in it. And then like a band T-shirt, either from like Spencer's or Hot Topic, or like the fans will send it. Although I'm more of a fan of Spencer's, to be honest. You know, and if Spencer's doesn't have it, Hot Topic might have it. I don't know, a lot of goth people are going to, like, cringe at that. Like, oh my god, you mallcore poser. And it's like, dude, fuck you. Oh my god, you buy your clothes from Walmart and Spencer's, you fucking poser, corporate sellout. And it's like, dude, fuck you. I'm sure if you just kind of type, like, black to rip jeans or something like that, like, double-sided, I'm sure there must still be companies that still make... You, you can make your own. You want to buy, like, an overpriced pair of, like, pants that has rips in it and shit, and it's, like, bleach-stained and covered in paint, and you're paying, like, $200 for a pair of ruined jeans, when you can do it yourself for a fraction of the cost... You take some black Wrangler jeans, like one of those uh, drawing stencils that have like little Halloween skulls, hold the stencil over the pant leg, and then go ch -ch -ch, spray it with bleach, and then just do a bunch of skulls up and down the legs. Then uh, wash it in the dryer, or wash it in the wash, and then wash it in the dryer. And then, like, it bleach stains your black jean, jeans with, like, skulls and shit. And then, like, you add a couple of tears to it here and there. And then splatter it with paint. And then you wash it again and then dry it again. People are going to be like, oh, my God. Where'd you get those sick goth jeans, bruh? Uh. Which company makes those? And you're like, dude, I made it myself. Now, after I get me, uh... Wands in the mail, abracadabra. After I've done my responsibilities for getting my wands in the freaking mail, then we'll consider getting some more alcohol. <laughs> but getting the wands in the mail is so much more important to me personally than restocking. You feel me on that, you too? That's just... Part of being a responsible businessman, you know. I don't complain about being a guy, to be honest. Is if I wear a shirt showing off my big ass biceps or my sexy ass and some nice form fitting wranglers, nobody's going to be like, oh my God, look at that slut showing off his muscles and his ass. If anything, people would be like, who's that goth stud walking down the street? This is a soap that men respect and women love the smell of. That's what the pheromones do. It makes you smell like an alpha male. Like, <laughs> the soap is worth every penny. I'm autistic. Um, that your IQ improves, your performance on IQ tests improve. Really? They did a study. You ever think how, how long, like how humans have survived this long? Isn't that just crazy to think about? Humans have survived for this long. The human species, since their inception and creation, when, when an alien fucked them up, the hybrid of like a fish or some shit, like when an alien fucked a fish, and then that fucking fish developed legs, it became amphibious and then fucking crawled on the land. And then another alien fucked the offspring of that, which caused, you know, what we have today. That's how humans were created. 
an alien fucked a fish, and then the fish crawled on the land after becoming amphibious. And then another alien fucked that thing, whatever the fuck that was. And the offspring of that had sex with another creature on land, which created monkeys, and then the fucking monkeys evolved into humans. And the aliens have been trying to tell us this shit for years, man, through their crop circles and shit. But nobody wants to believe that. Yeah, just Cobra who's had... And no one's going to take me seriously because, well, he's been drinking, so <laughs> chalk it up to that, right? Fuck you. And the hunter-gatherer lifestyle is not easy, YouTube. It really isn't. Because humans have to discover through trial and error, trial and error, this plant safe to eat, give you nourishment. This plant makes you sick. They weren't just born with this knowledge. This plant gets you high as shit, great for recreation and substance. This plant, you think the ancient civilizations weren't doing drugs to recreate their time? Of course they were, dude. Who was the first people to put a stop to it? You guessed it, Christianity. Yeppers. And the government, when they start seeing UFOs and shit, they want to sit there and act shocked. But... Bitch, please. They've known about the existence of aliens for for years, man. They're just acting shocked because they don't want people to know, you know, that the government and the aliens secretly meet up at Area 51 and conduct weird-ass sci-fi shit. If I'm wrong, then why the fuck would the government have such a stink about just random civilians that are non-government officials Walk, you know what I'm saying? Investigating where their nose don't belong. Like how Area 51 has the perfect has perfected the lightsaber in real life, but it's not coming out until they feel like it's ready to be to come out. Uh, Area 51 has access to technology like the Jetsons and Star Wars and shit like that, and Star Trek. Are they doing experiments on aliens and psychic powers and shit like that? And just really, like, what if you could use technology to amplify your brain waves to the point where it's like you could start flying like a Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z and you totally had control over it. And then they amplified the specific parts of your brains to the point where your, your Tai Chi skills and your superhuman strength and, like, you'd have the ability to fly, shoot laser blasts out of your hands kind of thing. They're totally doing experiments on this kind of thing. And the, the reason why they don't want the public to know is because then everyone would want superpowers, man. That's why the fuck they're keeping it secret. But I didn't say that. No. Chuck PayPal. Okay. Oh, damn. Yeah, I definitely got some money. I mean, like $153.91. I appreciate that, guys and gals.